Hoppa! Hop, hop, ho! Welcome everybody to Stavi's World. 904-800 Stav. Call in. Leave us a fucking voicemail. We'll answer your problems. Um, big, great, great app. Two of my fucking faves here. Yeah, so the Stavro. Yeah, so the Yorgi. Yeah, we got two Greeks, Eldis. <laughs> you Albanian fuck. <laughs> are you Albanian? Yeah. yeah. Wow, you are really like connecting cultures <laughs> and like fixing years of prejudice. Yeah, no, no we're not fixing no, oh. Greek Albanian prejudice. Reinforcing. Yeah. And Sam, I, I I'm don't... learning a lot already. Did we introduce you? Did I get did I get caught up in speaking Greek to George? Well, I interrupted you. That's okay. Just because I wanted to. <laughs> yeah, yeah, to yeah. Everyone know that I speak Greek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do the podcast in Greek, and then these two can try and figure it out. And the audience, um, we got of course Sam Taggart, very funny, great pod, Stradio Lab. I was on board as soon as I heard the name. I was like, now that's a fucking name. <laughs> it's a really good name. Stradio Lab is a name. Stradio Lab is a great name. Take that, um, Robert Krolowicz, you motherfucker. <laughs> um, so yeah, thanks for coming out. Thanks for coming out to Queens, boys. We got ourselves a belly full of Greek food. Oh, thanks for having us. What a delight. We're having the time of our lives. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we're learning a lot. I'm learning culturally a lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. We're very, yeah. So Sam, uh, Albanians have, enjoy a very low, uh, a very low position in Greek culture. Okay. They're immigrants to into Greece. And if you're racist in Greece, kind of your favorite, um, kid, you know, I guess whipping boy would be the fuck it would be Albanians. So much so that you can be like an anti-racist in all other areas. Absolutely. I like a family <laughs> member of mine. I mean, whatever. I shouldn't yeah. say this on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A family member yeah, of mine, like an old, racist? old, like great uncle, you know, yeah. old guy. Yeah. Uh, at one point was talking about how not racist he is. And he's like, I, you know. There was a black person that uh, was moving into my building and I had neighbors that signed something to like not let him in. And I like spearheaded the effort to for, for to to welcome him in. Yeah. Like it, <laughs> I felt really strongly about that. And I really deep in myself feel like everyone is equal. And then I was like, oh, how interesting. He's like, that's except fucking Albanians. <laughs> <laughs> I swear. To, I mean, it really is like it's awesome. It's so funny. <laughs> I remember, like, we, and we've told, like, me and Elders have been friends since we were kids, so, like, we have plenty of story. We, just quickly, for you, for your guys, we had a, our other best friend that we grew up with. His family did not let Eldis in the house. <laughs> he had to sit outside. Like, really? <laughs> like, literally, dude. His dad was some fucking villager Greek guy who would not have an Albanian in his house. It's actually It nuts. took years of, like, friendship, and him, I guess watching eldest not steal things to let him in the house like we're talking cr crazy old world racism wow. we met I, I once heard someone say that <laughs> this is like i'm so sorry i'm talking about this by the way no 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 and no, by no, the no. way he gets it just so everyone knows everyone in my nuclear family is not racist against yeah i the but, same can't be said for the halkis family <laughs> <laughs> no and I, I do think like Things is, like in our generation, Greece, things are changing, and I actually yeah. for the better. But anyway, but I once heard someone say that Albanians like make the best like um, you know uh, what's the word like cleaning people yeah, or whatever yeah, yeah. because like their hands are coarse. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's just it's awful. It, it's literally like but they have actual physical. Like, yeah, they're like they evolved. They, they evolved <laughs> oh to my clean. God. <laughs> That is so dark. If you don't have a if you don't have a cloth, you could scrape with your palm and some <laughs> yeah, soap. Yeah, with your Albanian <laughs> Brillo so hands. I mean, the Greek Greek prejudices in general are so it's weird. Like, wild. actually, homophobia in Greece is fascinating because they're not like violently homophobic. It's just like not talked about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One time, my mom was like, <laughs> a few years ago, she was like, you know, things are really progressing in Greece. Like, there were three separate gay people that ran for mayor of Athens. And I was like, oh, were they out? She was like, well, no. Yeah. <laughs> She's like, they just <laughs> seem kind of faggy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But she was really mentioning it as like a sign of progress. She was like, three different gay people. <laughs> no, that's all. I mean, it's, yeah, let's get into I, One more Albanian story. I'd love to get into Greek homophobia because it's also, Greece is also like, the classic everyone seems gay yes. and everyone is homophobic place. 100%. But we recently, we met a Greek guy. He was awesome. Like a Greek business owner type of guy. And he was, he was literally, Eldis, what, what was the conversation like where he was like? I was just like, yeah, I'm Albanian. And then he just instantly goes into like, uh, <laughs> you know, this is like a minute after I met him. He was like, 
oh, you know, uh, I know Greeks and Albanians have a lot of problems. I've been in a, in America a long time. I never had problems with Albanians. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's, I always liked Albanians. <laughs> he's giving him the like what a white person in the South in the '60s would say to a black person 100%. they met, where he's like, "Whatever's going on over there has nothing to do with me. I accept. I always think you guys are good." He was he was basically like, "Yeah, uh, I know things got bad between Greeks and Albanians for a while there, but." When that all started, I was already living in America. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He wasn't even saying it's wrong. He was just saying I wasn't part of. Yeah, I didn't do it. I wasn't a part of it. I I can't promise I wouldn't have if I wasn't there, but I wasn't there. <laughs> it was, it's, it's awesome. Yeah, Greece is a great place. You have you ever been, Sam? Do no, you have I've any? Never been. Wow, interesting. We're okay. gonna plan. We're gonna Sam go. is gonna come Gotta and visit my family because. And it needs to happen. Maybe it'll happen this summer. I well, think if we if we plan. Well, if you guys are there, I'm going to be there in September. Late really? August, September. Oh, September's a good time to be. You know, there. maybe we can meet up. But because you're so to to give to give, I believe you're our first Greek guest, George. Wow. I think so. We haven't had anybody else, have we, Elders? No, not yet. Wow. So that this is big for the pod. Oh. Um, you're really you're really sold out getting only non Greeks. I know. On the pod. I know. Believe <laughs> me. I, I it's a, it's a real point of issue. I had Basil, uh, the comedian who would tour. Uh, Greek festivals, you you know him? I do not know him. Oh. But I'm I'm like Dude. I really don't know a lot about like Greek American, Greek American culture. You actually because grew I, up in Greece. I mean I did partly live here, but like there was always I feel like there's always a divide between like Greek people who feel like they're Greek, like more Greek than American, and yeah. then like Greek American people who are like second, third generation. Absolutely. Um, no, I feel that for sure because I feel like I'm in a weird zone where my I'm I'm first generation. My I was born here. But I'm fluent in Greek. My family's over there. I don't, like, I do still feel a really strong connection mm -hmm. to Greece. But, yes, there's absolutely this, like, you know, watered-down Greek identity totally. shit where it's, like, people go to the Greek festival and they go to, you know, and it's almost like a novelty thing where it's, like, like it's so easy in Greek people to just become white people within a generation or two, of just regular-ass honkies. And that's that literally, part of mortality is also, like, damn... If I have children, are they just going to become like regular ass white people in two generations? That's literally scares me. <laughs> like, I, like <laughs> I remember when we, because we lived in the states for like seven years. So basically, I yes. when I was a kid, I was born in Greece. in Greece. Then I lived in the states for seven years. Then we moved back and I actually went to a Greek speaking high school in Athens, mm -hmm. and which is why I then feel like. If you add it up, it's you know whatever. I, I, I feel comfortable saying I absolutely. Grew up most you English. grew up in Greece. Um. Anyway, but uh. But I remember when we were in New Jersey, which is where we lived, like, I felt like I was trying to see more American because I felt, like, foreign. Yeah. Whereas Greek Americans wanted at, for street Craig to see to see more Greeks. Greeks. They'd be yeah. like, hi, I'm Varvara. This is my yaya. And I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, I would, yeah, yeah. like, I would say, like, my grandma and my grandpa yeah, when I was, yeah, like, talking yeah. conversation. Selling out, dude. I was <laughs> the real sellout. <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, Greek Uncle Tom, sounds like. <laughs> sounds <laughs> like what you were. <laughs> you were. Um... And, yeah, and so I you were know. just you were just hot. Yeah, I get it. You also probably had the thick ass accent coming straight from it. I was like pretty. I, my sisters had my parents and my sisters had more accents than I did. I was sort of like young enough because we moved here when mm. I was in like second. Grade, oh, OK. I got you. I got you. Um, that then by the time we moved back when I was in like eighth grade or, or ninth grade. I felt then that I had become more American yeah, and then I had yeah, to like yeah, get yeah, used yeah, to being yeah. in Greece again. Yeah, that's interesting. I because I we would go because we would have my fa my my father would go to Greece and pretend he was a successful businessman for five weeks. <laughs> that was like he would take out loans to no. go on vacation and he would pretend his business was doing well. And we would we wouldn't even it wouldn't even really be a vacation. <laughs> we were like just living in Athens for like yeah. three weeks and we go on a two week vacation. Like we're only on the beach for two weeks, but my dad would like see his old friends and like talk about how. Yeah. Good, he was doing in America. It was like this weird, like wait, damn. that's so funny because we had the opposite. Sam, I'm sorry, you're no, it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll get in there, Sam. We'll get in that's there. It's okay. Soon. This is a lot. But we had the opposite experience. <laughs> where so my parents like came here, sort of like to do the American dream. Like they were mm. both like straight A students. They like went to college in Greece, and they were like, All right, we're gonna go like be engineer, like get an engineering yeah. PhD yeah. to like make money. And then we were living in New Jersey, in like suburban New Jersey, not like super picturesque or anything. Sure. And because this was during the sort of pre 
crisis bubble where everyone in Greece was making so much money, my parents would go back to Greece and their par- and their friends oh, wow. from high school would all be like driving Porsche. <laughs> yeah, yeah, And they'd yeah. be like, wait, are we stupid for, <laughs> yeah, living yeah. In, for living in New Jersey and for like getting PhDs? <laughs> yeah. And all these people that we went to high school with that like yeah. never left Not, Athens yeah. and were like you know, super involved in like student politics or whatever are now like CEOs. Yeah. Not paying their taxes. Exactly. Yeah. It's just like <laughs> nap, clocking into nap. I, my godfather, I've told this story, but my godfather had a government job where he was like a government handyman Yeah, and he would clock in and then go to, he would clock into that job. He had an overnight shift. He would sleep there. He would never work. He would, <laughs> he had a bed. He put yeah. a bed in his office. He slept there and he would leave and do work for yeah. his other job. Yeah. Like he was so just so idea, like a pure con man. Like, so the idea of a... Greece was awesome. Back, yeah. Like, in 2006, dude, right before... Oh, my, my God. My uncle was like a VP at a bank or something. Dumbest, one of the dumbest motherfuckers <laughs> I've ever met in my life. And they would go to, like, Europe. Like, they would go to other parts of Europe. They'd be, like, you know, flying. He would he would travel with his favorite soccer team and watch them play in, like, Champions League matches. And mm-hmm. him and my, my <laughs> aunt would go on cruises. And she's a hoarder, so that she'd have, like... <laughs> Little fucking trinkets from like fucking Berlin and like fucking Whoa. it was crazy and th- and now they're like destined. It's like crazy how much they shit has changed in Greece. It's crazy. I mean, it is now sort of on the up and up again. And I think like you know, it's not as bad as it was like seven years ago. Let's say sure, sure. Um, but yeah, to be honest, I still don't know how it all added up. Well, there's also okay. You were talking about like being a sort of uh, public sector employee. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. Sam, like that's like a that's a stereotype. Literally, the idea of a public sector employee is like a Greek cultural stereotype. Yes. That's what that means. Like, oh, that person is lazy and lazy, like, doesn't do anything yes. at work. 100%. So it's like you would be like a, there'd be like a Greek sitcom and someone that would be their job as a way to denote that they're like a lazy. This asshole. is a fucking duller okay. and a dumb asshole. Yeah. And it's also kind of the dream because it's like you want that position because right. it's like yeah, free money. It's literally free money from the government <laughs> and you can just go work a different yeah. job yeah, exactly. or go get pussy on the side. Go <laughs> Literally, he would buy prostitutes on the yeah. job. He was also like a weird sex fiend. He rocks. Now, now yeah, he, he sounds great. No, he rules. He rules. Like I, I would be now he's in now they've moved from. Um, from Athens, they, they went back to Naxo, which is where he's from originally. Oh, I love Naxos. Great. That's like one of my favorite. We, we went there like every year for like 10 years. It's an awesome yeah. island. And they live there now, my godfather and my godmother. And he literally, they've gone back to like the bartering economy where my godfather <laughs> makes has honey. He makes bee, like he's a beekeeper and he trades like his honey for like moonshine and like rabbit stew. <laughs> and like they're living like, it's wow, pretty I, sick. I did dude. not That's know. Crazy. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm glad I now know that Greeks hate Albanians, yep. yeah. Yeah. gay people, and yeah. government workers. And government oh, workers, 100%. Exactly. And I would say in that order, too. <laughs> I would say... <laughs> Yeah, I, I, think I would so. say that's the think, ranking. Honestly, too. maybe now that it's a little more progressive, government workers then it's like right, right, Albanians yeah. then government workers. Yeah, then yeah, yeah. People. Definitely Albanians won that. Albanian <laughs> well, ain't moving. I'm so, from the top spot. Did you know that? So last time I was in Greece, you know goodies like the fast food. Of course, that's our that's our McDonald's pride menu. Can you believe that? Wow, what? So goodies is like the McDonald's of Greece. What was it's on like, the pride menu? I, I actually, you know what? After we stop recording, I'll find a Let's photo. Let's check it I, out. Because I, I, I'll just find the pride menu. But it has like fully. <laughs> What's it called? Sorry. Goodies. G O O D Y. What the fuck are you doing? What are you? How, what are you? You're not paying attention. You're not paying attention. <laughs> and this is why the Greeks are right about Albanians, yeah. by the way. <laughs> I lift but this Albanian out of poverty. Yeah. He's not even listening to the goodies pride yeah, he menu. He was living in a bartering economy. <laughs> yeah. Well, what's amazing about him is his hands are biologically different, so he's yeah. better at looking you stuff know what? up. <laughs> no, that's actually the Oh, pro. there it is. There it is. There we go. This goodies. is real. Goodies Burger House. Pride the And they've made the, the buns green the, and the buns red. Are br- <laughs> the buns are gay. Wow. Wow, look at that. Actually, it looks so unappetizing. Yeah, that yeah. looks horrific. It's how they view homosexuality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're poisoned. Yeah. <laughs> like people have, people have <laughs> but it really is just crazy. Like, I graduated high school in 2009 and, like, would not dream of being out wow. in Greece. And now to go back and to see a goodies pride, a pride yeah. collection is really something. Interesting. Yeah, what the fuck? That's 
the, and have you ever had any pre George pre whatever? Do you have any run-ins with Greeks or Albanians, Sam? No. 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 Where are you from? Where are you from originally? Like the Midwest and the South. Uh, yeah, that's not real Greek or Albanian country. No, yeah. I never met any Greeks <laughs> or Albanians. You know, I watched my big fat Greek wedding. Of like course. Everybody else. Of course. Of course. Of course. Of course. I mean, honestly, when like I first was meeting like George, and he was like, "Well, I'm Greek. I'm Greek. I'm Greek." I was like, "Yeah, we're all something." Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Like, yeah. I was kind of like it's not that different. <laughs> yeah. you know, it's true, it's true. <laughs> but now you know I've continued to learn, and oh, my yeah. perspective is constantly oh. broadening. Absolutely, that's <laughs> I mean, what I, you're saying is crazy. I sort of feel that way with like. I, it's even though I talk about being Greek all the time, then I'll meet like an Italian American who loves talking about being Italian. And I'm like, no one cares. Shut up. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Greeks have a huge like supremacist. Oh yeah. Thing like 100%. there's every time there's like a there's like a um a poll that's like. Which country believe you know thinks they are superior to everyone else? It's Greece is off one. the charts, <laughs> and it's like, oh yeah, oh dude, it's crazy, and it's also the anti-Semitism uh, survey, but that's a different conversation. <laughs> so wait, do they hate Jewish people as <laughs> oh, well? Oh, Jew, yeah, yeah, Adam we side list. with Arabs. Big oh, that's time. fascinating. It's yeah, funny because yeah, yeah, in yeah. my family, so my grandfather grew up in a Jewish neighborhood, and really, so, and like it was occupied by the Nazis. Yeah, so he not only is so pro-Jewish, but it, it's like he probably feels like more kinship to Jewish people than he does to Greek people. So that's maybe only... I missed the anti- <laughs> I mean, that's that's crazy yeah, to me. Yeah, yeah. That a pro-Jewish, like, best I've ever seen is like not anti-Semitic. <laughs> but, pro, but pro is out of control. Yeah. No, it's actually so much so that like, so he died recently and my gra- and my mom, his daughter, texted my boyfriend who was Jewish and was like, George's grandfather would have loved that you are Jewish. <laughs> <laughs> he had, it, yeah. Every day he would go and he would think, "I just want yeah. my grandson my to get grandson. circumcised cock." <laughs> <laughs> that's my, that's my one dream. Let him, let him be free from the hood. <laughs> Your mom is like the queen of like thinking she's saying something progressive, yes. but it like yeah. off as like. But that's <laughs> so many rude. Greek. That's so many absolutely, Greek people. absolutely. And it's also like the sort of. I mean, this is not just Greek people, but it's like when someone's like, "Oh, I'm a history buff." So what are you? You know, it's of like, course. It, you know, saying something that is sort of like cartoonishly offensive, but because you genuinely care and want to learn about someone's culture. Yeah, that's cute. Almost, I, yeah. I almost like we should be allowed to say shit that ignorant. When you when you come from a good place, yeah, you totally. know what I mean. It's totally. like, especially when you're talking, like especially it's like that. There needs to be a moment of amnesty for trans shit, where it's like completely well-meaning people should be able to ask something that sounds horrendous, and then we're like, don't say it that way. You know what I mean? Like, like there, I know because you know what I mean. It's like it's a, you don't want to. You're so scared to say some offensive shit. Well, where people you're like, also are desperate to be educated. Like, and yeah. they genuinely yeah. don't know where to look. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because yeah. yeah. sometimes asking the questions comes off as yeah, uh, yeah. offensive. And yeah. then you'll and you might even get educate yourself, sweetie. That's a <laughs> response that's like I'm fucking trying. I'm dumb. <laughs> <laughs> Why well, do you think that's actually one of the reasons I think get. Gay, cis gay people mm-hmm. should be like tasked with mm. like being ambassadors exactly so translators that, so that trans, people <laughs> yeah. that, trans people themselves should like have comfortable lives and not have to deal yes. with transphobia yes. but then a few sort of like I love like, this idea cis this gay men that have cis like, gay white guys right yeah, you guys got it easy let's and, be honest that have, and all of them all of them have like <laughs> All of them majored in, like, <laughs> anthropology of gender. Yes, 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 yes. And they're yes. from, like, Connecticut. Right, And so right. maybe their job can be sort of, like, being the first line of defense. Oh, I yeah, like this. it's like the Peace Corps. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you, in exchange for using lingo that black trans women came up with, yeah. gay white cis men need to do a certain amount of hours <laughs> like translating. Years, like, yeah. two years in Indiana. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, I was. Where were you? I was stationed in Fort Wayne. (laughs) I love that. This is a great idea, guys. Yeah, the food was horrible. (laughs) I love it, dude. We're gonna be yeah back wherever you grew up. That's that's who needs it. Head to Michigan. Head to Michigan, dude. I'll go. Yeah, you should come. It's beautiful. (laughs) That's fucking hilarious. So you were you were just had to do sneaky gay shit as a youth or what? Yeah, I didn't really Both act, of you? act on it until, like, college. Okay. Yeah. I, mean, I didn't either, actually. I oh, wow. I had not even, like, kissed a man until my freshman year. Yeah, me either. Did you guys ever have to fake being straight? No. Yes. I hooked up with girls <laughs> in high school in the beginning wow. of college. You got pussy in high school? A little. 
damn. See, that's what's so funny. I didn't get put. It's like how bad. Like I always think about the closeted gay guys that got <laughs> pussy. I'm like. They were getting pussy. I couldn't get pussy. <laughs> like I was like, they were they were like revolted. I mean, I know that's not how it works, but it, when you're like 19, you're like gay guys are big going like and getting pussy, holding their putting a clothes fit on their nose and eating pussy. And I'm over here begging. How did they pull it off? I was always mesmerized when I, I would hear those stories. Well, the uh, one time I tried to eat pussy was like <laughs> so deeply embarrassing, and I think back on it like and and just hurt because like we were literally like dr- drunk at yeah. someone's house and like sixty nining. <laughs> And I was like, and I literally was just like pretending that the angle was too difficult. <laughs> so I was uh, just going like my neck. <laughs> I mean, the idea that a straight sixteen-year-old would know any better. Sure, it's, it's sure, like sure. Yeah, I don't. Exactly. If anything, honestly, probably a gay man would have some more pizzazz. Sure, <laughs> sure, like, sure. Um, he would you be know, stick, stick a pinky. Out. Yeah, 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 yeah. He'd be performative about it at least. Uh. Yeah, uh, it that's is so hilarious. 69 is so funny, too. <laughs> well, yeah. it's a classic it's a position choice. where you're like, well, okay, well, first you're 69, and then yeah. you're yeah. Yeah. <laughs> on someone's floor, you know? Yeah. Like, like, what are we doing? Who is this girl? What kind of girl is this? Oh, she's you know what I'm very saying? sweet. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. Very nice, very smart. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that makes sense. Though. Well, clearly they're not that perceptive. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I actually think she could tell, but that was like part of the appeal. Like, I think she was like, maybe I can turn him. Oh, true. In Indiana, yeah. that you get a fucking thousand dollars. You turn a gay guy straight. You go to the governor. Yeah, you tell the governor. the governor. He gives you. He gives you the key to the city. <laughs> yeah. yeah, literally, Mike Pence. Yeah. Because yeah. yeah, being gay, it, like really red is like sweet. Like it's like oh, it's like I want a nice guy like that. <laughs> I want a nice guy, you know, a fact. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, that makes sense. That makes a lot. I guess that makes sense because thinking back on it now, how did those guys get pussy? It's because you weren't nervous about it. Like, yeah. And you were just, you asked nice. Because I like, I could do, I was a sweet kid in high school, but I re- wanted pussy so bad that the second it got close, I was like, oh. yeah. you know, and it's like any attraction faded because I was like, I hope I pull this off. You know, if I don't get pussy, I'll kill soon. I'll kill myself, and they could feel that just emanating off me. That's sort of how I felt about. So I had heard that guys were jerking off together mm-hmm. in a We've straight talked way. About this a lot, yeah. but not in Savi's world. Not, all right, well, but it Let's was like a thing it. that would happen, and then the girls would be like, "Oh my god, you guys do that, blah blah." And I was like, ah. "Like, yeah, oh, I, I, I was see. like, how do I act chill enough that I'm invited to the jerk off <laughs> party? The guys, you know, I'm like fully hard, like <laughs> yeah. walking." In. They could fully smell it on us. Like, I yeah, always yeah. I would never be it. invited. Yeah. I would never once be invited. Did you ever jerk off with your boys? We had like a, there was one sleepover where there was like a, there was more of a jerk off station than jerk off with the boys. Like, it wasn't like we all beat off together, but it was like, you know, this guy had internet and, you know, I'm coming from inner city Baltimore. We didn't really have, I didn't get internet till I was like 13, 14. Okay. So he had internet and he also might have had like, it was, I didn't even have dial up yet, and he had like, you know, f- for whatever was the precursor to FiOS. So he was, we were downloading songs off Napster. We were like going crazy using internet, and one of those functions going was, crazy using internet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's that was yeah. It was like dude, oh yeah, we this, were browsing hard. Dude, we were bra- <laughs> truly, we truly were. We were on fucking uh, e bombs world. <laughs> oh, we're on yeah, fucking yeah, yeah. intensity, whatever the other shit is. I remember. The first piece of pornography I saw at that sleepover was, like, on one of those fucked up, like, cringe-inducing web... Like, I think it was called Intensity, wasn't that what it was called? Or E-Bomb... Maybe E-Bomb still had that porn set before it became, like, a basically memes video place. I don't really remember. But it was a nun... A girl dressed as a nun... With a crucifix in her pussy, that, but also she like had a huge a, thing back. Then. She had a wildly hairy pussy, so I hadn't even seen that. Truly, that was the first time I saw detail pussy. Like you know, I guess I had seen like a Playboy where it's like you don't really see pussy, sure. you see tits. I just spread open, just like that. Honestly, did scare me from pussy for a little bit because I was like, "What the fuck is going on? Hairy as fuck, just a gape with a fucking cross in it. And it was still like, but I'm going to jerk off to this. And then I was like, this is fucked up, but I, you can see her tits still in this, and I, that is doing it for me. But I think I beat off to... What was... What was what were we beating off to at this at Phil's house in, in, in 2003? This is fresh off 9-11. No. Actually, this is probably pre-9-11 because this was sixth grade. 
So we didn't even know the towers were Damn. about to fall. It was dude. a simpler time. It was a simpler yeah. time. I it was I'm I'm gonna guess it was just some kind of oh you know it literally might this might be hack, but I actually I didn't jerk off there because I was just a little stage fright. It was just a little too much. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think I literally think this is so hack. It might have been the Tommy Lee Pamela. And well, that was. Uh, I mean, it's a classic. For it's a classic. Yeah. You know what I mean. It was also really hyped. Like, yeah. Even at that time, there, like the like I love the whatever shows. Yeah. Oh. We're always like going the Tommy. Uh, yeah. The Tommy yeah. Lee and Pamela Anderson sex tape is so like queer coded to me because it's like <laughs> yeah. she's like an iconic queen, of and course. then he has a giant cock. <laughs> yeah. And it's like why would a straight guy want to watch it? <laughs> yeah. <this?" laughs> Like, this is camp. <laughs> <laughs> it is camp. You're so right. Yeah, that would hurt. Yeah, I honestly remember seeing it and my feelings being hurt because of how big his penis was. <laughs> Same. No, I remember actually, being like, you, what? You hear, you hear about it and you're like, well, it can't be that big. Yes. And it literally is. By the way, Greek icon. Greek. That's um, right. Didn't wow. get any of those jeans. I'll yeah. tell you that much. <laughs> those mean, were not bad. I can't drum and my dick don't look like that. <laughs> I, got, I got all the other skills. Uh, I, my The Colin Farrell sex tape was my so sex tape classic. Of Oh, of course. Yeah, I heard yeah. about that one, and that, that one I didn't watch because I heard the rumors of his dick being so big that it would hurt my. F- and I was past that, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is this is later in life. How old were we when that shit came out? I was like, later, probably two thousand five, maybe. Yeah, because like, he was filming later. Daredevil. I remember. Yeah, because he, that's why he's bald. Yeah. <laughs> bald. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like it was like the like Colin Farrell, one of the best pieces of ass of all time, and still to this day. Oh, Yo, he day. rules! I love that guy. I mean, I was watching the Miami Vice. Uh, with Jamie Foxx the Jamie Foxx my advice and I was like damn this is I was like that's who I think I am there it is thank you Elvis. well the other wow. thing I mean first of all he looks so good second but he of all looks, he, but this is not even like yeah, he like looks Hot weird. Colin. Oh, oh, you, know what? you know what? I did oh, see great. this one. I forgot. This is. I, I, <laughs> I did watch say, this one. I his, remember the he, girl he was black. A, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He has yeah, a very yeah. nice penis, but He's it's not a nice like cock. a Tommy Lee. Level. Not a Tommy. It's not like a huge. That's a nice hog, though. You know. Sure. Nothing but, wrong with but that. But what's great? And I, the girl was hot. I remember. I remember. It's like really verbal, right? It's very verbal, and he's also like. He is worshiping her. I mean, that's yeah, the whole yeah, thing is yeah. that he's like so grateful that mm-hmm. he is going down on her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it's sort of like Respect. feminist porn. It's a feminist yeah, porn. yeah. <laughs> no, I love Confrell. And in my head, pull up, pull up Confrell in Miami Vice, Eldest. Um, I watched that recently and I was like, yeah, I want to see exactly. Like in my head, that's what I look like. <laughs> and like I know I don't but in wow. my head I go through life being like that's 100% what that's I look so like that's so funny and it's so <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh you know what I, I do see it though I, I see, see it too it's God, so and funny. there is a sort of like Greek <laughs> like Greek Italian Mediterranean yeah, like. yeah yeah wow. well he's also he's all, in this movie he also was um, it was he literally got off the set of that movie went right to rehab he's given interviews where he's like I do not remember. And he's like, I'm not trying to be rude. I literally don't remember that movie, like filming that movie. Because Because like, I love that movie and it's a really fun, and, you know, I'm a love big Michael Mann head. And I hadn't seen it till recently. And I was like, oh, this is like a fucking, this is like a fucked up, almost like art movie. It's not, because I, I watched it thinking like Miami Vice, fucking guns, yeah. action movie, all this kind of shit. And it's a fucking weird Art, art piece about losing yourself in your work and like you don't know who you are anymore and it's like and then plus one of my favorite actors is on drugs and he's like goes to rehab I was like this is me dude I'm fucking, <laughs> I was high as shit I'm like dude I'm I'm blurring the lines dude what's, what's content who's Stavros you know and I'm like this is my I'm like in my and I look exactly like him <laughs> like this is the most important piece of you media you should do a shot in for my shot life. remake <laughs> of Miami Vice like, an iconic scene and he falls in love with like a hot Chinese actress I would love to get that in the mix who by the way didn't even know English she, was, she did the movie phonetically no way. It's crazy. Anyway, that's my little Michael Mann Miami Vice moment. Let's watch that. Big fan of the big fan of that movie, and that's who I am in my heart. Is that guy? <laughs> that's who I am during this well, tour. Well, actually, it's it's nice to see this. Yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, like, see it. It's making totally. it's making it's, a little more sense how I yeah, perceive myself, totally. how I act in the world yeah. when I think I look like that. <laughs> 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 he really is one of the hottest men. Oh, he's a, he's awesome. Yeah. Um, and he's just, and it's cool to see him like bounce back and just like, oh yeah, seem happier and like be just show that he's also just like such a good ass actor yeah. and a good it's person. It's like, yeah, I, I think he's yeah. like a real sweetheart. Yeah, yeah. Um, anyway, yeah. I don't know why we were talking about Colin Farrell. Uh, porn. Oh, porn. porn. Beat, oh, beating off. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, so yeah, I didn't yeah. fully do the jerk off parties. 
Elders, were you ever, you must have beat off with your boys in, in the suburbs. No jerking off, but we're definitely like, you know, fake sucking each other's cocks, <laughs> well, helping each other. Though. That's like, yeah. So wait, like, wait, wait. I, that's somehow better? Like, you, you, it's like, <laughs> it's literally you know, like, you're like. You're just humping your boy you're like, in oh, middle dude, school. You're fucking like, gay. Oh, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. Classic stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Touching each other's dicks, being like, you like that you're fucking gay, dude. Right, right, that right. That kind right, of thing. Right. Flicking each other's balls to cause oh, pain. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Classic. Classic. Like, really. I think about my my high school football team and the shit that some of the, those guys who like that feels Greek because it's extreme homophobia, but being so gay that it's like, oh yeah, this is just being gay at this point. <laughs> yeah. Like they literally ask to see the gay kid's dick, and I'm like, I know you're you think you're making fun of him, but you ask to see his penis, <laughs> and if he pulls it out. You just kind of did a gay thing with a gay guy. Right. <laughs> like, it's like, yeah. <laughs> it's like that's not bullying anymore. But see, for, uh, yeah, but then from the gay person's perspective, it makes it even more, like, confusing because then of you're course. like, how am I, like... Well, it is, like, almost psychological exactly, torture. Because exactly. you're like, yeah, I'd love to show you my penis. Torture. But yeah. it's yeah. like, but yeah. wait, you're going to make fun of me for it? You know, I mean, like, even you guys doing that, like, miming for a second, I was like... I'm hard. Like, <laughs> I was like, this is so hot. <laughs> I wish I could like do it again yeah. with the confidence. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> to go to be in a high school environment where everyone is of age. Yeah. <laughs> yeah 32 year old high school. 32 year old high schoolers. Everyone is at, everyone is having jerk off parties. And they're like yeah. bullying and like shoving my face. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, no, yeah, stop yeah. it. Stop. No. Yeah. 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 That's good. That's a that's a nice little. You should do the porno wing of Stradio Lab. Oh, <laughs> yeah. should, we're working on it. Yeah. <laughs> Trust me, that video exists. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, we've talked about it many times here on the podcast, but we truly are jealous of the the thing gay guys have figured out, where it's like, you know, I, where it's like, it's just like everyone just gets to suck everyone off, and no one really minds, or like nobody's feelings are hurt. Where it's <laughs> like, I, I was, it's like. It's like I was doing this bit. I I I'm not putting it in this special because it just like doesn't fit with the others. Because I've I was doing a bit about like poly stuff. Because I'm dating a lot of poly girls. Because it's like this weird. It's like you get to get pussy and also have a friend at the same time without having a girlfriend. It's like a nice little hack where I feel like I'm even the close. We were talking before. I feel like I'm kind of figuring out a way to be straight with gay. Yeah. You know, yeah. with with yeah. the gay. Like I have a lot of girls in my life who are just like. They have a boyfriend, but they'll also just, like, come over and fuck for a weekend, and that's cool, mm -hmm. um, which feels, like, close to the gay thing. But I was thinking, like, I don't get... But that's, like, a rare straight... Straight people who do that are rare well, also, people and People who weird. identify as poly, I'm exactly. always uh, sort of... Big problem. Well, you know my joke with poly people? It sounds great theoretically, but I don't have time to get into Doctor Who. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's beautiful. Um, I think it's funny, like when my own like like where my limit is. Mm. Like I yesterday, I was talking to a friend who was like, "Oh, I went out and it was really fun. Like this guy sucked my dick on the dance floor," and I was like, "On the dance floor?" <laughs> and he was like, "Yeah, a lot of people are doing that now." <laughs> oh yeah, people are doing that now. And I was like. That's not right. <laughs> I was like, you're supposed to go to the dark corner. Go to the booth like a gentleman. Yeah. What the fuck? We're animals now? Yeah, like That's go awesome. to the bathroom or the yeah. dark. Yeah, always yeah. the dark corner. Always was, the dark corner, of course. I was really, and then he was like, and yeah, this guy fisted somebody. On, I was like. <laughs> wow, we're bringing back cruising. Wow. We're bringing back. I mean, cruising wow. being very back. conservative yeah. today. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. We're feeling those. He's like, Michigan don't do that roots. in front. Don't, I just don't want to see it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't suck each other's dicks. What if my sub that I'm walking on a leash yeah, is exactly. seeing it? <laughs> you know? Wait, were we together oh. when someone brought like a group of pu of of sort of men that were acting like puppies? <laughs> And then they just waited in a corner. So they waited in the corner. I don't think I was there for this. So there were these men that were on all fours, and then we all went to a party. And then for the duration of a party, they waited in a corner mm. until the guy that was in charge of them was ready to leave, and then they followed him out. Wait, was that the New Year's? There were you know, the New Year's. Now I'm sort of like, yeah, it wasn't. I'm sort of like, maybe I heard of this from our friend. That's beautiful. But it was a New Year's party two years ago. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. awesome. Um, I, okay, wait, I was in Mexico at this, like, nude beach that has, like, 
sexy vibes. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And there was actually like a straight couple, like there was like this big night party mm-hmm. and like, where everyone's in like various states of undress. And there was a straight couple there. Like the guy was rock hard and she was like blowing him on the wow. like dance floor. And I was like, wait, this is actually the future. Yeah. <laughs> there is really something to this. Wait, also remember when I went to a gay club with, four straight people and they all ended up hooking up and I went home alone. <laughs> Wait, George. what? This was actually one of the most humiliating nights of <laughs> yeah, my life. please this tell us about it. <laughs> it really, I remember, <laughs> it really is. I was with, um, and by the way, I am i wasn't even that night like looking to hook up. Sure. I was just sort of like, we were at a comedy show and then there was some party that happened to be at a gay mm-hmm. club. Mm-hmm. And so I was like, oh, well, this is, I guess I can go to a gay club sure. with four non-gay people. Yeah. Um, and to be clear, maybe they identify, you know, maybe they were bi, like, sure, I don't know, but sure, it was a, sure. it was definitely a male, a man, woman couple. Okay. And then a single woman and a single man that okay. were sort of straight presenting. And so I was like the odd man out and I was just sort of like, okay, like this is my home. It's a gay bar. I can show you around. Yeah, like yeah, the way it works yeah, is you yeah, order yeah. a drink. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I was sort of like, you know, like trying to make them feel at home. They were the only straight people there. And then first of all, they like swapped girl, like the each girl. Girl hooked wow. up with the other, or like made out at least, not hooked up with yeah. the other guy. And then at some point, I went to get a drink and came back, and the two guys were making out. <laughs> and I was like, "What the hell is going on here? I'm the only one at this gable club, like not getting any action." This is like the jerk off parties really, all over again. This yeah. Was, yeah, this is when Sam told me that I was exhibiting um, what's uh, the Seinfeld guy? Um, oh, George George Costanza, Costanza behavior. Yeah, yeah. He was that like, "That's something that would happen behavior. to George." That is he Costanza. had a couple like real I, big I did. subs. I did. Was, it was, yeah. was going that was one. What was the other one? Wow. When you didn't, you were the only person in the friend group that didn't get the like VIP. Oh ticket. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, we were invited to our friends. Sorry, not to brag. We were invited to our friends' film premiere, and for whatever reason, because of a mix-up, I was the only person in the entire friend group who didn't get a VIP ticket. So then I had to sit by myself in the like overflow room. You're watching from closed circuit yeah, yeah, television. Yeah. I was sort of like, I don't know, maybe gay representation is not good. That's so funny. That's fucking hilarious, dude. Yeah, I mean, but I just, I just, to go back, I just really love what you guys got going where it's like, you know, you a, a, a couple will have a beautiful dinner, then split off, suck off four <laughs> other guys, and then come back together, watch the sunrise, and kiss kiss mm-hmm. on the lips, and talk it's about true. how much you love each other. It is true. It's you beautiful. know what, though? Now that we have friends that are, you know, even older than us, and are sort of like couples that have been together for a while that are aging, mm-hmm. it is interesting to see the dark side of that. Ooh, Don't yeah. you think? Well, I... I think the dark side, it's person to person. Like, it's like, if it's going to be dark, it, like, people that are monogamous are also dark-sided in that way. Yeah, but I will say that, like, I'm coming to grips with this kind of thing where I, um, where another thing that I don't think I'll, I'll have done for the next special I do, but it's an idea I'm really interested in where it's like, it's really kind of pathetic to be an old guy that's still getting pussy. And I guess that applies to and getting pussy. I guess in this term, just keeps getting your trying to keep fucking. I sort of, yeah. I sort of agree. I mean, like, I hate to say it, but uh, no, I don't want to. I don't want to be ageist. Don't. But be, there is. But there, there, you know. But there is like a certain. There's an archetype of an older gay guy who is constantly surrounded by young twins. Yes. And yeah. The, yeah and I'm talking about the straight version. Exactly. It's, the same, it's exactly. Leonardo DiCaprio. Exactly. You yeah. know what I mean? Like that kind of shit. Where it's like Leo gets a pass because he's the fucking man and he's so good at acting and shit. But if you're not that guy. You don't get no fuck. If you're a guy who's a fucking finance guy that's still getting pussy, or even just a uh, low tier stand up comedian, like basically, if, if that if I'm in my fifties and I'm still trying to fuck twenty five totally, year olds, totally. no, it's that's a problem. It's, there's a reason it's why it's like looked down upon. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it's not even like the groomer shit. It's the no. you're a loser shit. Yeah, it's like you're immature. So I could so that, I mean I'm very interested to hear you say that about because it's almost like a couple that's still trying to fuck. I could see the dark side kind of creeping in. I like wish I'm like, who? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, who am I talking about? Oh, I'll talk. No, so I know I. Well, okay. I think, I think it's more like I mean, basically, Sam is right that any couple that has been together for thirty years, like, will have a sort of, I don't know. There's a sort of like you run out of things to do and things yeah. to talk about, and you are like. Uh, sort of there's so much resentment and whatever it's almost like open it up then right yeah. but you know i mean? think what it is is like when straight couples are monogamous 
then at least they have to look at their problems in the face mm. because they're not getting anything else from elsewhere. So they're mm. like, we are unhappy. I look at you and I yeah, want to kill you. Yeah, 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 Whereas yeah. I think often what happens with gay men mm. is that it's sort of like because they are so sexually liberated and because if they're sexually frustrated at home, they can easily go and uh, yeah. fuck whoever else they want, which again, I think is go good. Go to the park, at, get an know. ice cream cone and get your right. dick sucked. <laughs> but <laughs> then, like a nice afternoon. I think for some people, then it's like suddenly 20 years pass and you're like, wait, when did I stop loving you? I don't even remember. No, right. I think that's, I think a lot of gay couples like that is how they break up. It's yeah. like they're just like, just oh, suddenly. we are more like friends now. Well, I also think a lot of gay couples literally will, just like straight couples, will stop having sex, but will like not necessarily realize it because they're having sex with other people. <laughs> so it's yeah. not like they're celibate, but they're yeah. like, wait, when was the last time we had sex? Three years ago? Like, 100%. <laughs> That's awesome. It's so sort of like... That's yeah, the way to not have sex with your husband, though, is to because it's like you've been fucking so many other people. Yeah, yeah. That's a lot better than getting no pussy. Uh -huh. I mean, like, true. Yeah. It is, it is. <laughs> It's a new kind of depressing yeah, that hasn't yeah, been yeah. yet captured by like Sundance movies. Of, about, course, of course, of course, we're working on it. Yeah, yeah we're yeah, working on it. Look out there, I believe Look in out you. For that. I believe in you. Oh, very interesting. Yeah, I guess the I guess what it comes down to is that humans really can never be happy any way you slice it. <laughs> <laughs> it really is true. You know, there's going to be change no matter what. Yeah, yeah. And I mean, be okay with it. I'm looking forward to not wanting to fuck. Like, it's ruined so much of my life. No, horniness is debilitating. Absolutely. And especially, as, and maybe you don't feel this way because we're Greek and we have more, we're more horny as a race. That's, yeah. that, that's, that's, that's when we get into race science. But it's like, <laughs> I, am, I truly, truly am just like, the shit, the, like the days I've ruined getting pussy. And the next, it's like, I know I have something important, but I'm staying up till three to semi-hard fuck a girl I don't even like or am that attracted to. Why am I doing, like, I'll be getting blown and be like, stop, go home. And it's just like, you have no power anymore, brain. You know what I mean? Like, you've yeah. been, it's like overridden. And I'm just like, the idea of being, like, I really think my beautiful final form is a fat grandpa. Just fat as shit, dying pretty young. Let's be honest, like, because I'm going to keep eating. Like, once I stop getting pussy. You know how fat I'm going to fucking get? Like, this is me trying to keep it together. <laughs> when I give up, I'm going to be awesome, dude. I'm going to be, I'm going to have an awesome chair. I'm going to be fucking mate baking. I'm going to be whittling. And my dick will not have worked in a decade. You, That's when I'll be happy. Aren't we, like, always horny? Isn't that, like, doesn't that not go away? Not the way, not, not the way we are. Like, you know what I mean? It's like. I don't think you're, I don't think we're going to be as horny as we are now. Grand, we're grandpas, sure. grandpas aren't that horny. Well, there Isn't is this sort of stereotype of the dirty grandpa. The pervy grandpa. The pervy grandpa. But I think that's because he wasn't getting pussy for 20. I'm talking you about. think they have to get it out of their system? I think you right. have to hang up your, yeah, retire. You have yeah, to, like, I want to hang my jersey, my getting pussy jersey up <laughs> and just fucking enjoy the rest of my wanna, life. Do you want to like get married and have kids? I th the, the old, like the older I get, I'm like, I guess I kind of do. Like. I don't know about kids, but I do think I absolutely want to, like, settle down into some kind of, you know, I at least want to give a, like, I was in a relationship that ended and I've just been, you know, not even, I've had no semblance of a serious relationship. And then what happened to me last year is I was dating a lot of people just kind of whatever, casually. And, I'll, you know, when you do that, it's like girls, it's almost like this rotating door of people who pop in and out of your life. <laughs> girls get boyfriends. And you're like. Thank you. Your Thank listeners you for your... must be so jealous. Of you. It's just like it's <laughs> guys crazy. listening and being like, "Fuck." <laughs> well, I, well, no, because there's heartbreak here. Because like, then and then it's like, and then one girl broke up with me, and most of the time, girls would be like, "Hey." Thank, you know, just want to let you know I won't be, like, putting in my avails next month. Like, that <laughs> yeah. kind of vibe. And usually it's like, great, had a great time, thanks, whatever. But then I realized, like, fuck, wait, I actually love this one girl. And it was like, and now she's gone, and I'm trying real hard, and I took her super for granted, and she's in a relationship... And then it's like you fucking creep on social media and you're like, the guy's a yeah. fucking loser. It'll sneak up like, on You know what I mean? And so, like, I've kind of been going through this shit where I'm like, fuck, dude. Like, I've just been heartbroken off a relationship I never had that I that was my fault that it didn't happen. Yeah. So you really feel like, what am I even sad about? I mistreated someone and now I'm sad about it? Like, you feel like an asshole? That's so, like, cinematic. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. It feels I, that way. It doesn't wait, just so, feel like shit. This is sort of the issue that I have with poly people, where it's like, they think they have created some equation so that you can never be hurt or right. never have whatever. And it's like, no, actually, the secret to all of this is... You can be as sexually liberated as you want, but you have to know that at any given time, there is a chance there's going to be like an imbalance in how two yeah, people feel about of course. one another. 
Yeah, and I think, I mean, I think, like, any poly person who actually makes it work is like, no, I do, I am, I'm not thrilled my girlfriend's on a date sure. getting plowed, but I realize, like, <laughs> hey, that's that's part of life. Yeah, There's yeah, jealousy, course, course. but I'm just, the way I'm jealous of somebody, the way monogamous couples are jealous if they flirt, I'm a little jealous if yeah. they're getting dicked down, totally. but then I fucking, I get over it kind of thing. <laughs> so anyway, I, I guess the point I was making is, like, that kind, that moment where I was like, oh, even if I've been kind of deluding myself into thinking I don't want anything serious, mm-hmm. it's like you'll develop those feelings for somebody when you meet somebody. And it's like, you know, not, not to get get a little therapy with it. It's like that's always my shit is like I'm scared of that. I always pretend anytime anything gets serious, I always try and fuck it up. I think I'm scared of commitment, bad mom and, you know, bad wow. fucking parents. Yeah. Parents had a bad this relationship. So classic. Cla- it's really hack. That's the thing. It's yeah. like it's the most like it's the most like I can't commit to you know even when the girls are oh fuck I forgot to do the joke that weekend I wrote a joke sorry I'm I'm all over the place um, I have a joke about how it's just like why I'm the one not committing it's like come on you know it's like these girls that anyway whatever um, it really is so so classic and so cliche of like yeah I mean sadly most of our problems are cliche you know always sort always of. always I mean so much of our existence yeah even like every time we're we are gay guys. I'm like, damn, we are gay guys. <laughs> yeah, we're being gay Sam as hell loves, right now. Sam loves being like, it's like there would be like four of us at brunch and he's like, we are being such gay guys. <laughs> yeah. right Which even that is yeah. a gay guy thing. To say. Absolutely. Like it's, there's no way to avoid it. Absolutely. Yeah. Get the Charlie XCX going. You Honey, know what I'm saying? We, yeah. It's never turned off. <laughs> <laughs> I will say it's sort of lucky to have cliche, like quote unquote mental health problems because guess what? The people that have interesting ones are way more fucked up. <laughs> yeah, they're yeah, locked up somewhere real. right now. You can now. literally watch like the most mainstream movie and be like, so true. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I know it really is. And that's truly what I want just is a sitcom life. I'm a fat, charismatic man. Give me a much too hot wife. Let me live with one of her wacky uh, relatives and my best friend will be next door. Yeah. That sounds kind of awesome to me. You I, know? Mean, I do sort of think your current life could be a great sitcom. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I run a podcast studio out of my bedroom yeah. with my Albanian best friend. Yeah. <laughs> Like Which it would also- only make sense for like Greek audiences because yeah, they're yeah, like yeah. they're so different. How could they be friends? Yeah, 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 yeah absolutely. Um, yeah, it's not like a you know, regular ass life, but anyway. Um, so yeah, I think I want to have that kind of the kids thing. It's like I could. I guess it depends on whoever I end up with. I could take it or leave it. I'll be a great. I think my destiny there is all. I'll be an awesome uncle. Like I'm yeah, a yeah, fucking totally. sick uncle, I can see that. but I'd, I'd like. I mean, I'm not against having kids. My one thing I that I've said before is like, if we do have a kid, if I do have a kid, it's like, I also feel like I should adopt a kid and just zero it out. I feel like you really shouldn't have kids. I think like you gotta go, you gotta leave it, you gotta leave the world. I mean, yeah, morally speaking, it's indefensible. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <have> biological <laughs> but then the older I get, I'm also like. Oh yeah, but I get why everyone does it. Of you course, want your yeah, whole yeah. being is telling you to do it, and that yeah. you're a piece of shit if you don't. And you've wasted, <laughs> yeah, fa- hundreds of thousands of people raw dogging in succession to bring you here. You're gonna end it. The <laughs> one who is the easiest in the world to have kids, like those motherfuckers, survive wars, famines, all that kind of shit. And I'm just like, no, oh, I think it's wrong. <laughs> you know, it's like, what the fuck? But I don't know. What about you guys? You guys want to be, have that dark gay uh, realization in your 60s that you don't love your husband anymore <laughs> because you've been getting so much. That's the goal. That's, yeah. <laughs> no, I feel like I feel like I always like pretend like I'm above it. Like I mm-hmm. like to be that like metropolitan gay guy. Of course. Like, like, what's even the point of marriage? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. Every day I wake up and I choose to be with my boyfriend. Yeah. And, <laughs> and the moment we don't want to be together, well, we won't be together. Yeah. Like, I don't need the law to tell me what I am and what yeah. I am not. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas I feel like I am being as sort of assimilation-y as possible, but at every turn, like, being ironic about it and making mm. jokes about it. Like, we have a framed old New York magazine cover in our bathroom that... It, where the cover line is, when did gays get so straight? And it's like Hilarious. from like 1995. And it's yeah, like yeah. some article about how gay men are like becoming more respectable now or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. the cover is two gay guys like drinking out of a pink smoothie together. <laughs> <laughs> um, or I don't know. But yeah, I feel like the... I Yeah, you sort of have to do the thing that you're scared of and then just like wink. <laughs> and yeah, then yeah, 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 yeah. You're, I'd say George is less afraid of the traditional than me. Yeah, that makes sense. 
good Greek boy, yeah. raised raised in the church. I mean, I do think ultimately, uh, I don't know if you feel this way, but like as much as I tried to escape it, the Greek oh. value, like just like, out of control. I'm with the, you. Oh, there's more statistical yen. Yeah, 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 yeah. The Greek yeah. like family unit, yeah. really, and not just family unit, but like extended family and everything. A hundred. Unfortunately, it's just like baked in, and I don't think I could ever be like a real like hippie living in a commune like super queer <laughs> no like yeah. i just it's it's how i yeah i know what you mean fully it's like that's another scary thing about like you know everyone tells you just wait till you get older or, you know you'll f and it's like especially the greek shit and the family shit in particular where i'm like you know my best friend just had a kid and it's like holy like that was a huge moment where i'm like yeah. damn my mother like my Guys, my guys are having kids. Like, like and now, off and now, in the yeah, jerk yeah, off yeah. station. <laughs> <laughs> she wasn't invited to the jerk off station, unfortunately. <laughs> um, uh, but uh, she, like, like I'm just like, damn, the people I care about are having kids. I'm gonna care about that kid. Yeah. And then it's always like my my brothers are probably gonna have kids. my brothers are both married. My cousin's getting married in Greece. This this like it's kind of like. I'm realizing I'm just being dragged to all that stuff by love. Like, I'm not I'm not cool. I always thought the same thing. I'm a fucking cool, progressive totally. fucking guy. I don't same. need any of that shit. And then it's like, no, you're a fucking late-blooming coward who yeah, has to see everyone else do it totally. and see that they are fine. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, I guess I can do it too now. Because yeah. then, the, then, what's, then what's the other... What are the other options? Be one of those, be a guy with hair plugs trying to fuck the hostess at a sushi restaurant. I don't want to be that guy. You know what I mean? Like, I want to, be, I want to fucking, yeah. I should, and you know, so yeah, I guess I'm definitely going through that, that crisis. But I will say the other element is like, I do f want a connection to Greek stuff. Like I, the older I get, the more I feel like a, like, I, like what we said earlier with the, the podcast started. It's like, it scares me to think that like in two generations, I'll have someone in my bloodline will be named Dylan. Do you know what I mean? No, like, this like, is like... Like, that yeah. shit fucking scares me, no, dude. I, 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 <laughs> I'm naming my son, like, Socrates. I'm naming him, yeah, like... Yeah. I'm literally naming him Dionysi. I'm naming him Dionysus. <laughs> like, he's getting... My kids are getting Greek-ass names if I have kids, without question. No, one, no, I... And they're I learning Greek. They're similar. going to fucking Greek school. Like, I've oh, got... Yeah. That's, that is in me, dude, fully. It's, it's kind of crazy. I never expected that, but it's there. No, I feel... Uh, completely this i mean and i'm I even, like i also know now i mean you know who knows what'll happen in the future but like i've been in a relationship for over three years i probably we will be together you know yeah uh for the long haul and he's not greek and mm. i'm no like i'm a i'm not attached to socrates but like yeah i at least want it to be like a name that could be Greek. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, you know, even just like John, like Yanis, you know, fine. That, that's good. Like, yeah, it, it's, yeah, yeah. It, we got know, a like, Yanni in the, yeah. in the zone. Um, but I am like, no, I'm going to, I'm going to speak to the kids in Greek when they're just with me and then yeah. you can speak to them in English. No, I'm like, literally yeah. even thinking about this. So like, I'm brushing up on my Greek. Like I'm going to like get more, cause I'm, I'm fluent, but I never speak it unless I'm yeah. in Greece. And it's just like, it's this weird shit where you're like, Damn. and even, I'll be honest, I'm even like, it's like, and you don't control any of it. Cause I'll see, I find myself getting more attracted to girls that I'm just like, that's, those are great. Like curly hair, <laughs> fucking schnoz. You know what I'm saying? Like tan, like I find myself being like, damn, I want to fuck those girls more. And it's like on a fuck, I'm an animal. I'm a pure Greek animal. Actually, <laughs> when I go back to Greece and I look at Greek men, I'm like, wait, I could not, I, I would be like taking my pants off. <laughs> yeah. in the <laughs> Do you feel that same way about Michigan? <laughs> <laughs> no, not even a little bit. <laughs> well, uh, honestly, okay, this is kind of sad. I think I do. <laughs> There's something when someone looks like a suburban father, I'm always like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, give true. me, give me, give yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe well, it's it just, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. I mean, when you were saying you want like the sitcom life, I was like, yeah, I want that too, except I'm the little wife. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> I think you can get that, pal. I believe in you. Um, yeah, no, that's that, that shit is fucking that is fucking wild. But I don't know. That is the dream life. I want to spend a little more time in Greece and just have that be be there like a few months and shit. Do you, are your siblings and stuff? They are they here? Are they in Greece? they're not in Greece. So one is in fact in New York, which is uh, she moved here recently. And that's that was nice. exciting. Um, and then the other one lives in Munich in Germany. Oh wow. Um, and then. 
I mean, at this point, even my, co- I guess most of my cousins are in Greece. Um, but I mean, you know, when we go back for Christmas or something, no matter where everyone is, people congregate there. Yeah, so it's yeah, as yeah, though yeah, they yeah, are, yeah. are there. But Do you like everyone in the fam? Yeah, I do. I mean, I don't know. It's tough because of the gay thing, honestly. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but yeah, but yeah, not yeah. because anyone's homophobic, because... It's because of like the silence around. Like, there's. Right, it's very strange. Right, like, right. it really like no one in my family is homophobic. No one. When I was growing up, no one said anything homophobic. But there is something where like I sort of when I hadn't decided how I was going to deal with telling people. Yeah. I sort of like disappeared from the extended family for like seven years, <laughs> and then like reappeared. Gayer. And, like, I, 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 well, that's like, I reappeared. Never came out to anyone. But it's sort of like. Yes, at this point, everyone, people yeah, have, yeah, like, yeah. talked and people know. Right. But it's not a, a, not really exactly addressed. Mm. And so, I don't know. It's, like, weird. But, I mean, uh, you know, but with, like, my parents and my sisters, it's normal. With my cousins, it's normal. It's fine. But, but I think that's a pretty normal. Like, yeah. Like, I feel like that's kind of how my experience was. Totally. Too. Okay. I mean, I do yeah, think I that's normal for many people that live in... Yeah, like the South or the Midwest or, or whatever, but yeah. just a quiet acceptance. <laughs> yeah. yeah, there's like there's exactly. that pause where it's like everyone's like excited, like how's Mark, how's Sarah, how and, and how is yeah, things yeah, for yeah, you? Yeah. Like that's the moment that I think is kind of weird, but like yeah. everyone, nobody really gives a fuck. Yeah, uh, they just they, you could see their expression change when they when they're going down the chain and they even spot you and they're like, how am I going to get out of this? <laughs> you know, like how am I going to get out of yeah. asking? When well, it's you're... also like the gay thing is st- the first thing. Then it's like I'm the only person in my entire family who isn't like a doctor, engineer, mm. or like. Uh, you it makes know, sense. Whatever. You got the you got the defective gay genes. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, you got yeah. those art I folks try, spending like, all that thing yeah, to thinking like, about cock, two not plus doing two equations. Whole. You know, like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, wow. So yeah. No, but I I love going back. Yeah. Yeah, and but that's nice that you get along with your family. Like you don't have any of those. Oh no, those, my new like, yeah. Like my mom and dad are great. Like you know they like love my boyfriend and they yeah. have. T- We've gone on vacation with yeah. him and then well, your grandfather like, would have been thrilled he's Jewish. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, who by the way I wasn't out to, so it's very funny for my mom to be like, he would have loved that you were Jewish. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Maybe that would have softened the blow to your yeah, grandfather. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that would have like, canceled he's out. Like, hey, George, Papu, George is gay, but my friend's Jewish. Good news. Hit wow. that fuck spin that dreidel. Oh my God. <laughs> Do you like your family, Sam? Yeah, I like my family. It's we get nice. along. That's cute. Yeah, it's good. So there's no like uh, escaping to New York. So you don't have the like, tri- you know, because I feel like that's half the gay guys in New York is like, yeah. they got the traumatic leaving here and like, you know, a drag queen adopted them. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and they're like, you know, like. No, it wasn't that dramatic. <laughs> yeah. But it was, I mean, like that, that was probably more uh, motivation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like it was sort of like. I need to be away from everyone for a while. Yeah, yeah. It really is that sort of like from the ages of 18 to 25, let's say, you actually need to not, you do need to escape. And then yeah. you can sort of like return on your own terms. Interesting. That's, I, I feel like that was my experience. Like, huh. And it wasn't even anyone else's fault. Like, but, but I think. It's so jarring being different and be, and feeling like you have to explain that to people that you're like, let me figure it out first on my own. Right, right. And then yeah. like right. we can, oh, and then I'll come back and like then I'll be confident enough that it won't hurt me if you say something. Or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. And we were right. And we yeah. were right. <laughs> no, I truly have no regrets. <laughs> I was also like extremely brash. Like I was just sort of like, you guys don't get me, and that's fine because I'm a genius. And I'm yeah. Like, yeah. And it was like so stupid. Yeah. I, it also took me forever to come out to my parents in just like a way that was like, like grow up. Like yeah. it was like. What'd you do? I just like literally, I was like 25 when I came out to my parents. Oh, wow. And, and they're like, Get it over with. <laughs> <They're> yeah, like, <laughs> like they knew they like finish the journal. interpretive yeah. dance yeah. that you've been planning yeah. or whatever. Yeah. Well, and I, I actually literally sounded like that. Like I was like, so I know you guys know. <laughs> and it's like, like, could I just not be a bitch for like half yeah. a second? <laughs> yeah, just be, just truly go through this emotionally difficult moment that's important in your life. No, literally being a bitch. Yeah, it was crazy. that's all right though. What are you gonna do? There is nothing do? worse than coming out to your like i know this is obviously this is a plot of many films yeah yeah but yeah. it's just like the idea that both sam and i had to literally sit our parents down and tell them we're gay is insane yeah it's like so that's crazy that is crazy it's, like, it's so humiliating <laughs> yeah so i think so the the because it does feel like 
at least I feel like there is a a bit of um, a movement, or at least like as more people that don't give a fuck yes. have kids, that there I have heard more and more stories of someone trying and the parent being like, "Come on, we got it. It's all good." Yeah. So you yeah. think that's good? That's like a nice little. That's like I think a nice. So yeah, I think it's better. It's obviously better in the long run. Is yeah. there a part of me that's like old and bitter? And yeah, 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 yeah. To yeah, like yeah. suffer. Of if course. I paid my student loans, yeah. no, <laughs> no, none, you know, true. like you, you yeah. should, no, no rescue for you, like that well, vibe. And, <laughs> yeah, and also like I mean. I guess it's the same with any subculture, but it's like if gay culture is mainstream, then that sort of takes away from like the excitement of like. That's why you're. Su- that's why, why people are sucking each other off on the dance floor now. That's true. You yeah, got to exactly. keep up in the yeah, ante. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> they got to stay sub. <laughs> yeah, that's true. And I do. You know what? That makes me actually feel way better about it. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna go do it soon. Yeah, yeah. you got. Well, it's either that yeah. or bros. The move. Mo- <laughs> I don't think Bros has the power to turn back time quite a few years. So. Oh my god! Uh, fuck, um, fuck! I felt like I had a follow up. Oh, that's an interesting idea because I, um, what you're saying about just having to disappear, I kind of naturally did that, but because I hated my family at the time. Oh, really? For other reasons, right? Like it's like you know they. It was just like I mean, this is. Please do not even think I'm being like you know. Coming out of the closet's hard, but I had to sit it down and tell my parents I was a comedian. That's you know what I mean. No, like, but I know what but, you mean. But like, you but yeah. on right. the on an on an immigrant level, yes. there was like I was the smart one in my family. I went to school on scholarship. My dad was a fucking dumbass who had run up debts. Who was like pinning all his hopes on me becoming a lawyer or something. And I was just like, oh yeah, I'm not doing any of that. And everything you thought was going to happen, my life is going to be completely different. I'm going to go. You know, I I lived with some friends. That's also not a Greek thing to do. You usually move home until you get married, essentially. Oh, yeah. Living with roommates is like being a drug addict. They don't understand it. Yeah, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Truly, truly. They're like, what? You're going to like, like, even in like in college, I got a, I went to a school that got me a scholarship. So I, so I would be like, well, yeah, they're paying for the dorm. So it'd be like, I wouldn't have to have that conversation with my parents. Um, And then, you know, I lived with some friends. I moved back home to save money. Uh, because you know that was I just fucking had to for a while, but then I moved back out, and except for that like year where I lived at home, it was like I am in college, I'm with my friends, I'm I'm having, and then I moved in for a year to save money, got a place in Baltimore, and then I just fucking went to New York, and when I didn't live with my family from those years, from the years like eighteen to twenty, I think I moved to New York when I was twenty six. I literally I didn't see my I see my parents my. I talk to my mom more now that I live in New York. I see her more now that I live in New York than when I had roommates in Baltimore when I was an open micer <laughs> doing fucking, you know, driving to D.C. Because I felt like I was like, all this immigrant guilt is yeah. such a fucking, like, they really, it just, it controls every part of your thought. 100%. That I was yeah. like, I can't be around these fucking people. I have to decide what I actually truly want. And now I'm, you know, and then I went to therapy, all this kind of shit. I have a good relationship with almost everybody but my dad and my family now. And but yeah, I went through that, that same thing. So No, I, kind I think of that have uh the face similar oppression, I guess. <laughs> yeah. No, but I, what I'm getting at. Yeah. I really do. Yeah, you can say back it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I have been. <laughs> I'm way ahead of you on that one. Um, no, the immigrant the uh, unlearning the immigrant stuff is actually in many ways like shape my life more than being <laughs> yeah, yes, like, yeah, no. yeah 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 that shit is fucking t- yeah they and just- also the whole thing of disappearing and coming back is like okay you know in your heart that you like will do something in comedy but they can't see that of yet. course so you're like right, well right. i will at least like get to point a so that they can at least see that right. this is something other- I will give my mom a lot of credit. She, because she, my mom, I, mean, I don't know if your mom's like this. My mom thought I was the smartest little boy of all yeah. time. Like Greek moms, just fucking fully. And when I was first born. First born, first born after they, they, yeah. they took them like 10 years to have a kid. Mm, so yeah. I was like the fucking golden. And I was like very precocious. Like I was the kind of kid that sp- speaks full sentences at nine months yeah, old. Same. Like I was this yeah. cute little infant who literally was saying dropping f's by the way as a kid as, i was like a baby that was cursing <laughs> like and like being hilarious um and just like you know saying they you were know. like you're going to make a great lawyer yeah, yeah. <laughs> um and my cousin came to visit from greece and just taught me every every oh, fucking profanity yeah, yeah, there course. was like an 8 year old with this little 1 year old being yeah, it's just whispering pus- telling me how to say pussy in greek um <laughs> 
And so I think she she so she thought I was wasting my talents doing comedy. Sure. Um, and then she, the year I lived with him, I was a paralegal, worst paralegal in the world. I didn't do <laughs> shit. I literally did not. There was a one day where I listened to an eight hour podcast about the Roman empire at work, like a full eight hour podcast Whoa. instead of doing and literally nothing. Um, and, but I was, I was government worker vibes. Yeah. 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 Exactly. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Well, they were a foreclosure law firm. So I was like, I'm not helping them. And we'll see how long oh, it takes Oh, you were being that. active. I was, I'm Robin Hood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. You're a hero. <laughs> but she saw that I would wake up. As much as I didn't give a fuck about this job, I would go, I would get in, go to 6 a.m. I would drive home, eat dinner in a half hour. I would shovel food in my mouth and drive straight to D.C. to do open mics. And she was like, oh, he's not just getting high and hanging out with his friends. And like, like I was actually. And so she, once she saw that I was working hard, even though it was something she didn't give a fuck about she turned yeah. the corner yeah. whereas my dad was just like what i can't make money you, you gotta fucking pay off the debt my i've been going to vacation i've been i've been taking out loans to go on vacation i need you to make money fast like Whoa. he just thought your your children owed you money like well he, that know? is well not just owed you but like i don't know if your parents were like this but there was a sort of vibe as though kids are like it's like you invest in your yes. kids and then you see a payoff yes exactly fully and by the way my dad was not Attending to the investment, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? it wasn't like I didn't really fucking get a lot of yeah. a lot of support. Um, but you know, what are you going to do, Greek? You know, so you like both. That's not. It's a rare to get an immigrant that loves both their parents. I mean, it took. A, I mean, listen, like, I again, as I was saying before, it's like the importance of family was drilled into me to the point where I'm only now. I would say in the past five years, really like. Um, prioritizing them and like taking time off work to go see them and like they came over for Thanksgiving which they had not wow. been back to the states in like I don't even know how long yeah 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 um, but That's cute but yeah it's all part of I don't know it's crazy I mean I've after not going to church for like 15 years I have now been to church for Easter for the past three That's years, wild. which is insane. Yeah. Like, and not something I ever expected yeah. to do. Easter's fine though. You no part of it is religious. Candles. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, it's yeah, just yeah, like yeah, yeah. it's. I mean, you're sort of like, well, what is, you know, what am I replacing old tra those old traditions with? Like, oh, what going true. to a gay bar? Yeah, yeah, I can do that too. Yeah. Like, it's yeah, not yeah, like yeah. it's not like I found some new like rich culture. That yeah, I'm, like, yeah, part yeah, of. yeah. No, I guess I guess that's my thing. I'm still trying to figure out. Is like I don't want the church shit involved. There's so much other Greek shit to do, but yeah, going going and lighting the fucking candle oh, on Easter. It is literally 15 minutes. Yeah, on yeah, Easter. yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, I would yeah. never. Like, I'm not sending my kid to fucking church. No, 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 no. I would never, and I don't, and I don't care about it. But. Yeah, but it is. It's just still a pretty good church experience. So you got the incense, the fucking stained glass window. We do have the best church. That's the thing. That's yeah. the other thing is that yeah. I'm sort of like, even though I am not religious and I don't care about it, then. When it comes to when I talk like a Catholic person or something, I'm like, oh, please. Yeah. <laughs> talk to me when you've had a Greek yeah. Easter. Yeah, yeah, a Greek Easter. Talk to me when, like, we let our priests get married so they don't fuck the kids. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, that's, my, my mom's yeah. favorite talking point it's, is, we like, got We crushed Catholics yeah. on that. No, they got true. no, there's nothing you can come back at us. Our priests get pussy. Cool. That's fucking cool. And they don't fucking fuck children. Well, it's just like Double, a job. Even cooler, if you ask me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> they can just, like, have a family and kids and then go to their job yeah like exactly normal people exactly i don't know you you religious over there oh Sammy? god no sorry yeah. i'm like i'm like yeah i can't uh, I don't have anything <laughs> well to you weren't really That's raised okay. religious no i wasn't raised religious. oh interesting what kind of parents are we talking they're like just pretty, regular ass they're motherfuckers. Pretty regular ass motherfucker <laughs> yeah. they're like like we went to like an episcopal church a few times gotcha. but I, we moved a lot and i think they just kind of got lazy on mm. like finding a church and it didn't matter so and they sundays were like, are like great yeah. You don't want to give up. Like the, it's crazy to me the idea that my mom was waking up to get us dressed. Mm. What the fuck? My Sunday. I mean, my dad, in classic piece of shit dad fashion, didn't go to church, but told us we had to go every week. Really? Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. He was that, that is classic dad. But but like my mom was fucking doing all the work. Like to add my another errand for me to send my kids to do something on a Sunday. Sundays are some of the best. Sunday mornings are the best of all time. Better than Saturdays. Without question, the morning. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. um, it means more because that night is sneaking up on you. <laughs> and you know, Sunday mornings are the last little tidbit of the weekend. Yeah, of it's joy. the only true, true part. I tried to go to like, uh, like a youth group thing because it was like, you know, 
they made it seem really cool. Yeah, and yeah, like, yeah. Like, everybody went, and it was like, oh, and they have basketball, and they have video <laughs> yeah, games. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I was like, oh, I'll check it out. Yeah. And I, like, truly had no idea I was even gay yet. Yeah. But yeah, it was yeah. like, we were in a group of, like, eight guys in, like, with a, like, cool counselor. Yeah, yeah. And he was like, today was amazing. So, why do you guys think people choose to be gay? <laughs> and everyone went around and answered. And... I was literally like, <laughs> you got a belly full of fucking Kool Aid jammers. You've just played laser tag, laser tag all fucking afternoon. And they're like, so what? What's the grossest part about gay people to you? <laughs> I remember literally being like, well, maybe they're afraid of like getting rejected by girls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> that's so funny because my grandma, when Mike Fuzzin finally came out to her. Um, her and by the way another hilarious thing is like if you wait too long to come out to a grandparent you're gonna have to do it every two weeks because oh, they fucking yeah. forget yeah. she her her reaction to my cousin marrying a woman was like oh I guess she couldn't find the guy <laughs> literally and she wasn't even mad she wasn't homophobic about it but she was just like I guess she could I, first it was like Oh, they're letting girls do that now was her first thing. And the second one was like, I guess she couldn't find a guy. And she's still cool with it, which is kind of weirder than being hateful. Yeah. It's like kind of more disrespectful. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. It's no, like, oh, the, this is a failure. Actually, yeah. like, <laughs> it's the things that grandparents will say to like it's the it's different prejudices that you can even than you can even imagine, or different like mindsets you can even imagine. Like, I think at one point my grandmother thought that I wasn't dating girls because my like dick didn't work and i think she no. maybe told that to my mom and she was like you know i want to be respectful we won't mention it yeah like, yeah yeah he's getting plowed in his ass because his dick don't <laughs> yeah. work we all know that's how it goes was that one of the answers at the youth group was yeah. maybe their dicks yeah. don't work yeah. so what dicks, don't dicks, don't dicks don't work <laughs> Because they like hanging out with their guy friends too much. Yeah. <laughs> I, I was so much more creeped out by like, when we lived in America, I was so much more creeped out by like jingoistic American stuff than I was by religious stuff. Like mm. one time I re re like joined, what what is it? Cub Scouts for like a month. Yeah. And I was like, why are we seeing the national anthem every day? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, it, it was like shocking. Oh, that's true. I was, like, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah, I was yeah. like, at least church is based on something. Right, 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 right. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, just, it's yeah. based on an older bullshit yeah, thing. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. A, a, bull, a lie that's been from 3,000, yeah. from well, 2,000 years well, ago. Well, he was resurrected. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he is risen. Yeah. Well, this is beautiful. I think we've got a great, uh, the great back. We've, we've, I've been had such a good time. We've fully gotten your guys' background. Let's, let's answer some questions. What do you guys think? Oh, my oh, God. I can't you ready, wait. You ready to solve some problems? We yeah. love giving advice. Thank yeah. you. I love, this is a great, this is a, we got our first Greek guest, our, I don't know, Fourth and fifth gay. We've, got, we've had a few gay. As long as you're keeping yeah, count. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We, so we got a spreadsheet, believe well, me. Yeah. You guys are really bailing me out here. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hit us with it, Eldis. Stabby, baby. First off, oh, thank no, you for doing man, the Lord's work. Working. Taking <laughs> Every fucking time. This happens every episode. Wow. It's his job. Is he it a running a, joke? He got, it right, he got it right once. And then I was like, part of me was a little sad, but then I don't know why I thought he wouldn't continue to fuck it up. <laughs> <laughs> so we're back. Folks, if you listen to last week's episode and Eldis did it right, don't worry, we're back. <laughs> we're back to normal. <laughs> Stabby, baby. First off, thank you for doing the Lord's work. Taking calls from us low-life dirtbags and sharing your wisdom with us. You are a saint. Wow, thank you, pal. I come to you today because I know you're a legend in the bedroom. <laughs> I'm 38 and my wife's 40. That. She's hitting her sexual peak, and it's been fucking awesome because she's always thirsting after the D. Hell yeah, dude. However, we aren't that freaky. Other than some good oral both ways and some hard pounding, we don't get too wild. <laughs> some hard so pounding. I'm wondering your advice for stepping up our freak game a little. Neither yeah. of us are interested in butt stuff, and I'm not trying to change my identity to some kind of leather-clad gimp on a leash. Oh, boy. But just thinking about leveling up a bit <laughs> and having a little more fun in the sack. Don't get me wrong. The sex has been very good, and we are both having fun. Just want to add a little to the bag of tricks, if you know what sure, I mean. Sure, sure. I know some of the mouth breathers you got calling in either don't give you enough info to give any real <laughs> advice, <laughs> or they drone on and on. So I hope I hit the sweet you spot for you to did, be able dude. to impart some of your sage wisdom. Thanks again, Sob. Loving the pod. Okay, I will just a quick, 
I like this guy clearly wrote this out. Thank you for taking this seriously, pal. <laughs> Hit right around a minute. Could you have cut a little in the beginning? Sure. Let's try and stay under a minute. But I pre yes, I like you, pal. You're doing a lot better than most of these to use your own terminology, mouth breather. So thank you for taking the call in seriously. Um, I also want to point out he sent this at 8.53 a.m., which is just <laughs> so tasteful. He woke up, he had his coffee. Woke up, <laughs> and it brushed little croissant flakes out of his mustache. And he was like, <clears throat> let me. He read it out loud to himself twice, and then yeah. he called in. Um, okay, so we've got a man whose uh, his wife is hornier than ever at 40. That sounds pretty cool. Um, and he's struggling. He's struggling to keep up with how much pussy his wife is throwing at him. And he's really struggling with ways to fuck his wife's pussy is what it sounds like. He likes, he's, he's down for oral and hard pounding, but he wants to switch it up. Interesting. I'm sort of, what I'm not getting is what he actually wants. Like, it's almost like he's like got any ideas for things I could do. He wants me to tell him how to fuck his wife. Yeah, is what so it sounds I like. think there needs to be some like brainstorming on his part, like sure. sitting down and journaling and, and being like, yes, okay, yeah. what do I want? Like, it, ideally, let's say nothing was off limits. What would I want to do and then work backwards from there. Mm. It's like the artist's way. Yeah. Like, <laughs> he needs to be sort of doing his morning patience. Yeah. yeah. Instead of messaging you, yes. you should have that cup of coffee and yes. then be like, so what horny thing do I want to do today? That's a great point. The care you clearly put into this voicemail, put into fucking your wife. Think about that. <laughs> Think about that. Well, how do you want to fuck her? Because you're right. He doesn't want to go. He did a little, you know, he doesn't want to be a, a gimp. Uh, he doesn't want to do butt stuff. Which, come on, man. I know you didn't know who we were having on, but yeah, it's kind of offensive. Pretty, pretty offensive. <laughs> also, like, you know, you can't... I have to say, you can't start out from a negative place. Like, you can't, start, you can't start out with what you don't want to do. Start out with what you do want. Great because it you. feels a little... I know this is cliche to say, but it almost feels a little shame-based. No, it's you're like, absolutely correct. So His voicemail is a, is a lot of shame stuff. Because he's like, we had a good thing going. D mm. Due to the late stage sexuality of of women I have to now fuck in a different way you know he's being shaken out of his mm -hmm. comfort zone and I think you're right I think that's great advice don't start from the negative so you're not into you know what do you want to do what well, do you I mean if I'm reading into like sort of the subtext of like emailing you or Mm -hmm. calling you about how to fuck his wife, <laughs> I might actually just, like, cuckold replay. Oh, interesting. I think that I will. could be two words. Yeah, yeah what does the wife available. look like? <laughs> I don't know that I want you in the room, but I'll... You can sit in my living room while she sucks my dick in the studio. That would be fine for me. Because then she's getting her sexual needs met. He yeah. doesn't have to do the work. Sure. But right. maybe is still a little turned on by it. Yeah. And by yeah, the way, like, true. not that's to true. sort of state the obvious, but also maybe talk to her about what she wants and, like, right. communicate and, and come up with ideas together. Yeah. Because she might have fantasies that she's not telling you because she, she herself is ashamed. Of or, course. Mm. And, you know, to get over that shame, I think... You know, some uh, something that I saw once at a little vintage store called Spencer's Gifts <laughs> was this dice that you roll yeah. that yeah. actually says a sexual thing to do. Yeah. Could and you fun. know what? That does sound stupid, but I bet that would be a little freeing for this guy. I actually bet it would help. I think yeah. it would help because it's like, because that because the shame is in like your idea being rejected. Exactly. It's, if Always. it's the dice's idea... Yeah, it's yeah. Go to ChatGPT and ask it. <laughs> How should I fuck my wife? It's always really. I'll vulnerable. just pull up ChatGPT. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, should we start doing AI? Honestly, oh you should God. just copy and paste that question to ChatGPT. Oh, oh yeah, my God. you need a login. Never mind. Oh, forget great. it. Oh, yeah. forget it. We don't. Right. You know what? We're, we're, no we're anti. There's no time. <laughs> we're anti AI on this podcast anyway. <laughs> yeah. So I don't know. I mean, just just if I had to guess, a couple things. <sighs> I mean the classics. Honestly, I love the a woman with dumb hair. You throw a pink wig or some fucking oh, makeup sure. like, or almost some, like role play. Adjacent. Well, like that's that the very easiest way to do is what you already do, but in a fun little outfit. Yeah. That's yeah. step one. You yeah. know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was even and saying you, maybe like a public place or something. Like do it in your car. Yeah, or do yeah, it like yeah, somewhere yeah, weird. Yeah. Dance floor again. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Do it in a car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's true. Uh, balcony, balcony even a little bit you know just a semi-private kind of shit yeah. like the smallest stuff is like do what you normally do with a little twist on it st do a little journaling mm -hmm. think about how you want to fuck your wife and then even maybe literally get some some spencer's uh you know some dice i mean the classic thing is you don't want to be a gimp but do you want to do does she want to be thrown around a little bit does she want to be tie tying up choking 
I mean, I also think if you're all if you're just like. I don't want to be a gimp. Then maybe that you is what you be want to be. Yeah. Oh, you're so she right. She don't too much. Dude, buddy. Yeah, that's a good point. Think about what you really want to don't do and then why your dick is hard while you're thinking about them. Yeah, and it then, sounds like you're going to be a gimp doing butt stuff. <laughs> 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 Which sounds kind of fun. Uh, try it out. I say, yeah, you know what? I've changed my advice fully. Be a gimp. Do some butt stuff. <laughs> But she's yeah, not well, interested. We endorse right. that message. For sure. yeah. <laughs> there you go. Hit us with another one, Big Eld. Hey, Stavi. Uh, I got a, a bit of a thing that I've been going through. Uh, so about like 15 years ago, I uh, donated oh, my semen to... Um, some close friends of mine Damn. and uh there are two women they're still together and uh we agreed that i would never tell the kid oh, uh no. that i'm his dad and um well i i mean i was cool with that right. uh but now i'm like close with the kid Damn. and you know, we talk about a lot of struggles that he goes through and him not having a dad and stuff. And I'm just wondering if I should uh, tell him. I, I haven't brought this to the mothers yet. Oh, but me first, but motherfucker? I'm wondering <laughs> if I should. I don't think they would be okay with it. And I don't want to jeopardize my relationship with uh, oh, this fucking this, guy. This kid, I struggle to call him my son because I don't think it's right for me to say that. I didn't, I didn't raise, I didn't raise him. Well, there you go. But uh, I don't know. It's just, uh, it's just something I've been thinking about a lot. Uh, love you guys. Love you. All right. See you later. Okay, pal. Let me before you guys take a crack. Sorry, I just gotta. No, please. You, you, have you beat off into a cup 15 years ago for your friends who raised the child, and now you've had a couple nice chats with them, and you're like. Maybe I am his dad. You're, you're not, like I know the feeling and the kids talking about struggling, but it's like, come on, dude. You know the answer to this. It would make you feel good, and it would make his moms feel like shit, and you would be betraying their trust and the agreement that you had. It's not like you fucking paid for this little cocksucker's college. It's not like you were you were fucking changing his diapers. You're not doing. You know what I mean? If you start doing some fatherly shit, then I'll even then I'll listen. But you popped up. He told you he didn't have a, you know, he's talking about the struggles of not having a dad. By the way, he has two mom. He has a fucking family. And he's getting made fun of at school. And so now you're like, well, maybe this is my opportunity. And, and first of all, who are you? Would you be the kind of dad that would even be good to have? It's like, oh, yeah, my, dad, my, my, my mom's friend's Tim, who fucking has roommates still, that's my dad. <laughs> like, do you have roommates? Because if you do, don't tell him you're his dad. <laughs> Let's start there. You got to be successful and do some dad shit for you to even start thinking about this shit. Because finding out some guy who it does not have his shit together is his dad is not going to, like, alleviate everything from a, uh, from a getting bullied perspective. And it might be cool in the, in a short term, but, like, what happens when his moms are like, you know, scold him for doing something bad and he shows up at the duplex you share with a fucking punk band? What happens then? Do you know what I'm saying? You're going to take him in? You're going to be like, hey, yeah, there's some leftover Chinese you can have. But uh, Eric's got dibs on the fucking General So's, though. So anything other than the General So's, you're, you're good. Is that what you're going to You're going to heat up some fucking uh, hot and sour soup to put in his fucking little lunchbox? Is that, is that, are you ready for that, motherfucker? Because if not, don't fucking say shit. Anyway, that was just kind of... That I, was the most worked up I've seen. <laughs> yeah. so like, your like, anti-dad sentiment really jumped out. Yeah, yeah truly. <laughs> oh, I want two moms. You're like, I wish. parents should be two moms. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But I'm sorry. I just... That was my gut. You know, that's my knee-jerk reaction. I also, to soften it, know where you're coming from. I mean, there is that emotional string, and there's probably something kind of innate about somebody who is half your DNA being sad towards you and you want to comfort him in every way possible. That's something. But 
you, you know, you at least have to talk to his moms before you fucking call into this yeah. podcast, motherfucker. Yeah, I agree with that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah I mean, and he knows that. He, yeah, he's yeah. not going to say anything. You know, he, he knows that he's talking. I mean, I sort of have an easy fix, which is just like re like reformulate this in your mind. It's like, you're not a dad, you're an uncle. Like That's what yeah, I was gonna exactly. say. an uncle is a valid a father cool guy to figure be. Yeah. to be. And yeah. like, I, yeah. you know, you can have a great relationship with someone that you see as your nephew or as your like friend's kid that you are a mentor to in some way. Yeah. Yeah. This obsession over the label of dad is like, yeah. Like open your mind. Totally, totally. Because <laughs> that's the truth. You're not his dad. You, but you can be a father figure. Yeah. Um. And you're you're only his dad by a technicality. So yeah, be be around and also talk to his moms about this shit. They've pro- believe me, they're thinking about it a lot more than you are. Um. But you can't let those like little moments of weakness that you're feeling, which are totally human and understandable. And by the way, that's nice, dude. Pop it, beaten off. And then 15 years later, you got a fucking kid you can well, show John well, beating Wick off, to. Period. Beating yeah, off, yeah. period, is cool. <laughs> and then you fucking, you combine that with like you get a kid to hang and you out. Create life. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like yeah, you create life that you don't have to raise, and then you can just fucking get wings and yeah. fucking. It's so nice that you have a good relationship with a kid too, and that you think he's cool. Yeah, yeah. it sounds like the vibes are right. All of this is awesome. Just definitely talk to his moms about how you're feeling, and you know, find the and also. This does feel like the kind of thing that don't you feel like you should have some kind of plan around this? Like, yeah. Even from his like, because you know, to to also give you some credit, at a certain point they're gonna have to tell him something. Yeah, and, I definitely think it's a little weird to be like, don't ask who your dad is, or yeah, like yeah, it's like you're gonna want to know. Yeah. That's just normal. Yeah. It's gonna so be curious. So yeah. So so I guess sorry to get so worked up right at the beginning, but I was just imagining you just telling a kid this unplanned and getting mad but you're you're calling in so that you don't do that so you should have a conversation with them about how they want to handle it but yeah. i also do think it is their decision like you you know you effectively are just kind of doing them a solid and you got to like we said you got to nut <laughs> which is fucking awesome yeah. um <laughs> Although I wonder, yeah, he donated. I was wondering if it's one of those cool situations where he gets to fuck one of them. <laughs> that now that if that was the case, then you definitely can't say. Then you can't say shit. If somebody gave you pussy, you fucking. Li- but beating off of the cup opens up, <laughs> you know, foot in the door <laughs> opens up some possibilities. If they gave you pussy, though, certainly not. You couldn't have. So that's actually their mistake. So for being so for being stingy, you know what? I changed my mind. Go ahead and tell him. <laughs> <laughs> Made you go to a doctor. <laughs> Didn't even. <laughs> um, all right. Well, good luck, pal. Don't tell this kid and be in his life and talk to his moms. Um, yeah. What the fuck would you do if you had like a? I don't even know. Well, it's tough. I think for me, it's complicated. If I were in this situation, it would just be hard because I don't like keep, like, I like want to gossip and I want to be mm. like, I have valuable information. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like if a kid was like, I wish I knew who my dad was, I'd be like, seriously, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> like it would be so hard for me not to tell them. <laughs> yeah. I w- I w- it'd be so funny if this kid looks exactly like him too. Yeah. yeah. Like that's another element of it where it's like. I don't. Yeah, I don't. I'd like to think I could keep the secret. I think you could, George. I think so, but I would like to think that if it's a lesbian couple that you're friends with they would, and you're still in their lives, there would be some sort of 21st century yeah, agreement yeah, yeah. where everyone. I don't know. Like I know a lesbian couple who I think both their kids have the same dad, who's a friend of theirs, and like I was just at their birthday or at one of their birthday parties, and he was there with his boyfriend, and yeah. like. I think it's like an open secret or an open thing. You know what's you interesting? Know? The them being both gay in my head makes it easier. Yeah. Whereas this guy, if he's, I just assumed he was straight. It's totally. And I, if I guess that is, there's something weird there about ownership of the kid. One hundred percent. The yeah. guy coming in to swoop in and just be like, yeah. Yeah. that like I as a lesbian couple, you probably extra don't want. Right. Which I didn't even think about until you just said. Well, there that. was just first of all, that's the plot of the kids are all right that she then like mm. hooks up with her their sperm oh, donor. Yeah. But then oh, also yeah. there was a recent, literally like two days ago, there was a news story about how these two lesbian moms, the one of the moms began a relationship with the sperm donor and is and left the wife for him, and now that wife doesn't have legal claim to the kid. 
Oh, and it's like going through the courts. What the fuck? That's crazy. It's That's nuts. some dirty shit on That's the dark. on the by it's also ones like, part. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's crazy when something happens that you were like, "Oh, this is something that like a straight screenwriter would think up and be yeah. like, this is genius." <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Damn, dude. Holy fuck. Elvis, would you ever donate your sperm? Uh, I don't think so. And this call is pretty much why. Okay. <laughs> All right. You always be like, well. Damn, I want to know the kid. I want to. I, I don't do know. It. I could do it, no problem. Maybe, maybe if it was like a, I guess if it was if it was like a friend or something who for whatever reason couldn't have kids. I, I and they were like, we need Eldis's DNA. Yeah, or if it was like some shit like Friends when Phoebe's brother. Oh yeah, she yeah. Like did she had his sperm triplets. or something. Yeah, yeah. I need that pure uncut Albanian. <laughs> that twenty three and me. The shit they didn't even leave this fucking circle. They didn't leave a three mile circle of Albanian until yeah. you. <laughs> oh yeah That uncut shit We're purebred I could Dude I would love I don't even give a fuck I would love to just fucking Let my nut off And have a kid That I don't have to raise And there, just no, Like in a weird Immigrant way totally. Be like My DNA's out yeah, there Yeah yeah no, I tricked I you that. fucking lesbos Into raising my son You know what I mean Like Like in a, on a Just pure fucking Evolutionary like Shit But I'm also like, I think for you And correct me if I'm wrong It's almost like uh, You think the lesbians Do a better job Absolutely <laughs> yeah, yeah, Oh that's yeah. the perfect way yeah, yeah. You get the guy Out of the equation <laughs> Absolutely I would love two moms I will say I would do it Only for a lesbian couple Okay that's fair Yeah yeah that's true I Or know. actually no or a single gal, a single career gal. Though. Sure. Oh, that would be fun. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that would be fun. And if you're a single career gal, you got to do a gay guy. Because I just thought of that, and I was like, she would kind of owe me pussy. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'd, be like, I'd be like, I would get the fucker every three years as part of the arrangement. <laughs> until, until she got a husband, and then ownership transfers to him. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> I'm not unreasonable. <laughs> This is like you being interviewed to yeah. be a sperm donor. Yeah. It's like Cheryl Sandberg. It's like, um, okay. Huh. I get dibs on the pussy, of course. <laughs> wow. All right, hit us with another one, Big Eld. Hey, Stavi. It's uh, your boy here. And, uh, nice, dude. I'm... Not been drinking because of uh, by January, and I'm thinking about like uh, extending that into the rest of the year. Nice. Just, just don't really feel like you know spending the money and and all that. But um, the big thing since I quit drinking is uh, not quit, but you know, kind of quit. Uh, I've not been very horny, mm. um, <laughs> and I think my girlfriend might be pissed about it. Uh, I don't know um, if you have any solutions or any uh, uh, thoughts towards uh, how that sort of thing affects, you know, your your, your sex drive or whatever. Huh. Um, I would greatly appreciate it. Uh, thanks once again. Uh, bye. Damn, this is the guy. This is the guy. <laughs> the lady who called and said her boyfriend's only freaky when he drinks. <laughs> this, is, this is the guy calling in now. Oh He's God. like, <laughs> I mean, it's a real thing. Yeah. I feel like I That's know. Interesting. I've like heard of this before, where people will like stop drinking and or like stop smoking. Like it, like it can like affect your like huh. sex drive. And I think from what I've heard, it'll like bounce back in theory. But you maybe need to like ride it out. That's really interesting. Yeah. But I'm not sure. Is it a sex drive thing, or is it just like when you're drunk you get? I guess that's the same thing. But it's like when you when you're drunk you get horny because a little you're touchy drunk. Touchy feely. I think like, it's a, it can be a little bit of both. Okay. That's really yeah. I would have never thought the sex drive would have gone because I, I I guess I feel like your inhibitions are lowered when you're drunk, but you, that's because you wanted to fuck, but you're sober and you too much you're too uptight when you're yeah. sober. But it's interesting to say this about for him to say that. Because I wonder what that, huh? No drinking, you're not horny, and you're in a relationship. Because I've also sometimes heard that the opposite happens, where you'll like stop drinking and you'll be like super horny, and then mm. there's like a, a phrase for it, <laughs> but I don't know what it is. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so let's see. So I think if you think you don't want to drink, that's great, and that's something you've learned about yourself. Mm -hmm. And um, maybe you're not horny because it's not the booze; it's that you're thinking clearly. And you're depressed now. That's also could be part of it. True. That's that's more of my guess. Is like, 
because you know I know when I get like when I've done little dry periods it's to kind of reset my brain and the reason I've been getting so fucked up is because I've been ignoring something or I've been like oh I need to get this fucked up to not think about it and now it's just you face to face with the thing that makes you sad and when you're sad you don't really want to fuck I think that could be part of it yeah and also you're like you're more in touch with your own body like I think before that maybe you were using drinking as a bomb or as, as a way to sort of dissociate a little bit. Yeah. Um, and let her have a good time with that prick while you're just fucking not even just thinking about all the just having a, just think just fucked up off the Jamesons. You're like, yeah, go crazy. <laughs> Suck me off. Uh, when we're done, I'll get a snack. Like, maybe that's it. Maybe yeah. you don't want to. Fu- Do you want to fuck your girlfriend? Why don't you want to fuck your girlfriend? Well, also, I would say, I mean, this was sent January 18th, like in the middle of dry January. I think like you got to, as with any change, you have to get used to it first. Of course, it makes sense that the first couple of weeks you're going to feel different, whether it's more or less horny or whatever. That's true. That's a good point. I would say like, I would say wait it out and call Stav back around March 20th. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 I mean, I would hope by now it would like evened out a little bit if he stuck to it. Yeah, we. I wish we would. We'd know. So call back. Give us a fucking update, pal. Let us know how it went. Wait. Also, is this fucked up? Is it like, even if you're not horny, can't you like do stuff to her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm with you. Feminist over here. (laughs) I mean, do stuff to her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. He's 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 confronting a lot of stuff. Maybe he's not that generous. Maybe he doesn't want to fuck his girlfriend that much. You know, maybe he's been depressed this whole time. You're up against a lot, pal. Hit um, the gym? Because it sounds like... Without, That's actually a good point. Like, do other things that yeah. increase one's horniness. Well, like, you know what's interesting? Without his girlfriend in the picture, th- it seems like things are actually really good for him. He's getting sober. Uh-huh. You know, the only thing that's worrying him... I don't think he would even realize he's not... Because he's, he's not that horny. Because his girlfriend is the one who's making him realize something's different. Whereas mm-hmm. if he was just getting sober... And going about his shit and feeling... Because he's talking about he's feeling better, he's feeling all this shit. He wouldn't even have understood that. He wouldn't even have thought about that if he wasn't in a relationship. Now, if you do love your girlfriend, you want to stay to stick together, and it's maybe been a couple... You're not that horny for the first few weeks, maybe you'll get back. Yeah, Sam's right. Eat a little pussy. Finger pop a little bit. (laughs) Is that the worst thing in the fucking world? Beat off on her tits. You know, maybe you don't have to have full penetrative uh, intercourse. You're not horny for that, but you can bust the knot off, let one loose... Let her bust one too, as well. It's not that hard, man. Uh, <laughs> you, Sorry to minimize. You, you like you go from like negging to them being like overly empathetic. To, like <laughs> yeah. you, you really change your to, the tone switch is actually insane. Like yeah, we're yeah. sort of like an evil therapist <laughs> who's like gaslighting his patients because you also do make really good points and you're yeah extremely kind and then yeah. you'll fully mock. Them. <laughs> That's the secret sauce of the show. I tell them what they need to hear. You know I, what, though? I, that is, that's actually very Greek, I feel. It is, absolutely. Breaking someone down yeah. and being like, but I love it's like you. A, exactly. But it's you a are gra- a fucking loser. Yeah, yeah. It's a, gra- <laughs> <laughs> it's a grandma being like, you're never amount to anything, but you're my boy. You know? <laughs> 100%. Wow, we got a time crunch, George. I know, didn't you have a show or something? Yeah. We, we yeah, did? I think like I, maybe one more. Do another. Uh, yeah. Let's do another. Let's do one more call. And Honestly, the, I could say I, I I wish I didn't have a show because this is so much guys, fun. Come back, you got to come back. I would love to come back. Awesome. Anytime, anytime. Yeah. Um, and before we do the last one, why don't we get some plugs out of the way? Of course, listen to Stradio Lab. Um, yeah, follow follow Stradio the Lab. boys. Go ahead, boys. Go ahead. And by the way, Straighter Lab is a podcast where every week we talk about a different element of straight culture mm, along with true. a guest. So a guest yeah. brings. And stop when we, we, we I'd have love you to, on. Yeah, it's, yeah. I, so we're you know. I I honestly like not you know not to um because I listen to the pod. I'm I'll be honest. I'm a sports podcast guy. Yeah. Mm. Or a movies podcast guy. But when I when I do want to like when I'm tired of the because I, I just don't listen to comedian my own yeah. friends. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. I, but I have thrown Stradio uh, Stradio wow. Labs on the rotation. Wow. When I'm like I'm sick of the the other shit. You know, it's like. Let's 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 check in. Let's see. It's very like we were saying earlier. Like it's not pop culture and it's not overly personal. So it's truly like, yeah, you can pop you in whenever. Yeah, like yeah. you don't have cool. to. It's not about the news. <laughs> this fucking guy's got to piss. We're doing <laughs> ten more minutes. You fucking piece of shit. <laughs> I mean, it's unbelievable. That's so funny. One th- one piece of advice I'll give you: don't hire your dumbass best friend. <laughs> No, he's he's actually. I'm actually surprised. I'm only say kind things while he's gone, but I'm surprised at how good he's gotten at this. He truly had no skills. 
He worked at some horrific Sorry, job. so who set all this up? We hired a guy to set it up. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, and then Elders was well, supposed yeah, to do I the mean, wires. Look how that turned yeah, out. Yeah, the wires. <laughs> I've literally never seen that many wires in my life in a room. So your, your dynamic is that you just yell at this man? No, I mean, he's literally my best friend. Like, we've known each other since we were in kindergarten. What was he doing before this? He worked for some he worked for some dumbass like he worked for CBS that got bought out by something called Odyssey or some shit. Oh, but he was working like in media. He was working in the lowest tier of media possible. <laughs> okay, they were like aggregating aggregators. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. No, I'm familiar. familiar. Sure. Like yeah. Elder, like I can't wait till he gets back to tell you. Like whenever the worst award show of all time was on, he'd be like, "I can't hang out. Right, 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 I have right. to see what happened to the CMAs." We're talking about your old job. Oh god! <laughs> <laughs> <It's really brutal. laughs> Co covering like red carpet, aka just like you know making bullshit galleries, and, like Yeti images. Oh, yeah, oh no! Yeah. No, it's yeah. and those would do the best, of course. <laughs> I clicked on those. I mean, it's yeah. so crazy. <laughs> it's crazy what people. I because I like for a year and a half worked at the New Gawker, and like everything about the most basic celebrities did legitimately 20 times better than yeah. like anything that was the about the most well thought out well researched yeah. piece i mean we had like oh whatever yeah it's yeah. it's it's sort of crazy and and i by the way i don't think that's bad and i think like celebrity content is content is fun and like i don't think everything needs to be like making some argument about cancel culture or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, Which is really important, by yeah, the way. Yeah, yeah, oh, and yeah, thank God you brought it up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it's gone too far, it folks. It has, yeah. Okay? <laughs> one one of our bread and butters at, at that job was like, there was a stretch where we wrote like a headline that was like, Rebel Wilson sizzles or shows off like 60 pound weight loss yep. in sizzling bikini photo or something. Oh, that's a classic Daily Mail. Like yeah. Yeah. sizzles in bikini yeah, clad. Yeah. Shows off we're, we're washboard talking, abs yeah. in bikini clad photo. I love that we would t talk about like her showing off her 60 pound weight loss like nine months after it happened. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We're you just still putting that in the headline. Yeah, dude. All right, man. You, you ready to go? You can yeah. press a button. Sorry. <laughs> No problem, bro. <laughs> Daddy, baby. My name's Kev. Um, I'm from uh, Brooklyn. Bank. Oh, shit. Sorry, my aggression's terrible. Um, <laughs> Daddy, baby. My name's Kevin. I'm from Brooklyn Park here in Maryland. Oh, okay. uh, I got a question for you. Uh, it's a piece of advice. I'm looking, I'm looking for marriage advice, and I figured oh. you'd be the right guy to ask. So, okay. um you know, I've been married about uh, 10 years now, and my, my wife tells me she's bi. Nice. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of excited, but, uh, you know, she doesn't do, I guess, like, she doesn't act on it. Obviously, we're in a, you know, monogamous marriage. Uh -huh. But, uh, you know, I uh, I told her, you know, go for it. You know, I'm really for, uh, you know, not really trying to open up the marriage, but I don't, you know, Sorry, maybe this bring is my back one chance to, uh, that was awesome. to uh, tell her, you know, go, go for, for it. it. You, know, whatever. you know, monogamous marriage. Wait, they are. But, uh, they you are. know, they are. Oh. I uh, I told her, you know, go for it. You know, whatever you're looking for. <laughs> hold on, hold on. Play uh, one more time. Really the That's the best. So, uh, you know, but, uh, you know, I uh, I told her, you know, go for it. You know, whatever you're looking for. The active jump, thinking about his wife getting pussy, which I respect, uh, by the way. I'm not really trying to open up the marriage, but I don't, you know, maybe this is my one chance to uh, see a uh, chick go down on the chick or something, you know? Oh, and, my God. Um, so uh, here's my uh, my question is really like, uh, how much should I press the issue? You know, am I, uh, am I, is my role here? To tell her to sort of fulfill this as a as a part of herself, or, uh, should I press the, the issue? And uh, you know, stop bothering about it. Anyways, I uh, love to see. You. I saw you uh, coming through New York a couple of times. Great show. Uh, you know, great podcast. See you, man. Wait, wow. this is so this funny is awesome. because this Genius. is like this is like a um. And I'm so sorry to this man who of course, I, Kevin I will then after I, after I lightly make fun of will take completely seriously. But this is like a stereotype of like what a straight no, man would say if his wife was by. A hundred percent. Like it, literally thinking about it only in terms of his own. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. His own experience of like this might be my chance to see her go down on another chick. <laughs> <laughs> this is like so sweet. Like he's like so horny and like, but yeah. his wife is still in his fantasy in this crazy. Yeah, 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 yeah. In yeah, a way yeah. Where I'm like, oh my god. This yeah. Is well, it is if you were a guy who wants to stay faithful. This does, and you do truly love your wife. This weirdly opens up a little back trap door to see other yeah. pussy. Not he doesn't even he might not even I think honestly 
it, I think you could just watch your girlfriend fuck a girl. That would be fucking awesome. Like, I'm interested in... I don't want to watch my girlfriend fuck a guy. Never. I will never want to do that. But, boy, would I watch her fuck a girl. And that's... That is homo... Like, that's the thing. Well, it is the it oldest is homophobia fantasy in the book. Where it's yeah. like... Where it's like... Like, I literally... I've thought about this. Where if my girlfriend fucked a girl and she didn't... It wasn't like... She didn't want to, like, run away with her. And she's like... She came up to me and, like, confessed it. I would be like... Sick, <laughs> like it truly. I I wish I wish I was like not because that's just like I know that is literally a being like yeah lesbians. I mean come on, right? right. You know, like it is homophobic, but at the same time I cannot stop that my brain works that way. It's literally where it's it just wouldn't a phase. affect me. It yeah. wouldn't affect not even just a face. Just like I don't. You're like, like it doesn't count. I'm it's like, like yeah, 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 yeah. It's like it's yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. like somebody. It's like I guess what it, if you really boil down to it. A guy fucking your girlfriend is like, whoa, somebody was using the pussy that belongs to me. <laughs> you know what I mean? Where it's like if a girl, like, where if a girl does, it's like, whoa, that's fucking hot, dude. <laughs> a hot girl was eating my girlfriend's like, pussy. We are really, like, horseshoe theorying back to, like, just how people talked in, like, the 90s. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> truly. You're, you're also literally being like, she did it for me. Yeah, almost. yeah, 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 yeah. Or even if she didn't, it's like, yeah, that's fucking cool. Like, I mean, I do think, yeah, if you're in a relationship where the guy, where the woman is bi and potentially wants to explore that and the guy is like auga I want to <laughs> bro. So, like it is sort of the if that is the case and you should first of all talk to your wife about this fully and wife make sure first. that this is something that both people want then like sure I mean if if both people will get something out of it I will caution against yes thinking that like quote unquote women don't count because of course next thing you know she will be literally falling in love with no no, no don't get me totally. wrong I know I'm wrong yeah. <laughs> like I'm not what I'm saying like this was a weird moment I had where it was like when I was in a relationship and I had we were just kind of having a conversation about because like I just assumed every girl was by now like I just assumed that's after I assume well. after 90 after like 94 every woman <laughs> yeah. just was by and then I like the, the girl I was dating was not was straight as hell and I was like Oh, that's weird. I was like, I just kind of thought <laughs> you like want to fuck girls, and yeah, then she really like, she was like, would you? Well, she was like, well, you want me to? I was like, I was like, honestly, I I thought about. it. I was like, I really would. It wouldn't affect me until she runs off on, with yeah. someone. You know what I mean? But that's yeah. the, that is the caution here is that like, buddy, you don't even know that she wants you in the room. You don't even know you. You're thinking she's gonna fuck some hot double D. <laughs> little ass waist big big you're thinking she's gonna fuck ig models you don't know what type of bitches your girl your wife is into you really don't know like she, think she, she might be into you know like a woman that looks like you with a pussy is that what you want like if a girl was into like a lot of body girls like me and i've seen them dating women that look a lot like me <laughs> you know what i mean so it's like that you might have that style of by wife and is that really what you want to you want to check out I would certainly, if you're going to broach this subject, start off with what would, what do you wife want rather yes, than what like, the wife want? so I've been thinking. Yeah, 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 yeah. exactly. Yeah, I, think I made us a Tinder profile for both of yeah. us <laughs> and I've been swiping <laughs> and, and I'm pretending I'm you. <laughs> and I have a lot of support. Um, I think, yeah, there is such a thing as being too supportive, you know, and I think he is already sort of towing that line. Well, he's, it's, he's completely looking at it from the, what I'm getting out of it yeah. perspective. Yeah. And that is a that is a pitfall. You could be get to make our second friends reference of the podcast. You could be getting rossed here, pal. You might you might you know you, sh you might your wife might run off with her fucking lesbian karate instructor or, or whatever. Or the it was. wife might not might just like be by but be happy in a monogamous exactly. relationship. Yeah, exactly. She just want to express it. She might want to be yeah. She might beat off thinking about yeah. girls every once in a while. But and and not to be all, you know uh, s sort of. Uh, Twitter brain, so to speak, sure, but sure. it is a sort of classic biphobia. One could yes. say to think that bisexual people are more are like constantly trying to fuck more, right? And that they're yeah. more promiscuous, right? Right? Yeah. Right? Gay um, men are promiscuous. Gay men that's, are that's promiscuous. Gay men. <laughs> gay men are animals. <laughs> you have to break up. Oh man, yeah. The you should see. I'm sure the uh, you look at the fucking um, fuck. What's the what's the gay island? You guys, Fire Island. <laughs> 
You check out Fire Island on a Sunday morning. They, yeah. They're coming through with like fire hoses. They're coming through like, get out, guy. <laughs> Knocking people in the fucking head with newspapers. Scram. Stop fucking each other in the ass. We got to clean the streets. The if, sw- if only someone would come and do that. No. But there's no police. Yeah. yeah. They instead got rid of streets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they, you have to go down the streets of Fire Island in a uh, cum gondola. <laughs> it's just like Literally. a fucking boat skimming uh so yeah just be careful that yeah uh, i think that's all of these are valid things you are a passive best case scenario you're a passive passenger on the my wife eats pussy express worst case scenario for you the express ain't leaving the fucking station and she's just happy to be monogamous with you and she just wanted to let you know that's those are the that's the that's the floor that's the ceiling don't try and like you know hook her up don't be like all right so when, are we, when am I going to watch you eat pussy? Because that's not, I think that's the wrong vibe. Take your cues from her. Don't put your own shit in here. Um, and she might have created her. If she is, you know, a prude bisexual as you are claiming they exist, which I'm still on the fence on <laughs> personally, but that's fine. Different, different, different. That's why we have differing uh, opinions here. That's yeah, why we bring different perspectives so on, on Stavi's world. <laughs> if she's one of these mythical bi people that don't want to fuck that much, then she might have made a big mistake telling him that she is. Because yeah. now he's not going to be able to get it out of his fucking head. I yeah. sort of want to know a little more context about how this came up. Right. Like, did she, like, sit you down in an emotional way, like, yeah. come out to you? <laughs> That'd be so you know? awesome. She's crying. And, She's he's like, crying and he's like, oh, <laughs> fuck, yeah. He's imagining her eating Carmen Electra from 94's pussy. He's like... <laughs> While she's crying about how she got, you know, her family disowned her. <laughs> I mean, or maybe she herself, like, brought it up in a sort yeah. of sexy way of, true, like... True, true. You know, maybe that they is were a... talking about opening up the relationship, and she was like, well, you know, I'm bi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what I know. a simple outlook. It's sort of beautiful. To yeah. just be like, my wife is bi, awesome, I want to watch her fuck a woman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 No, it is actually, it's in like, many ways, extremely progressive. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> It's like so amazing. It's yeah. like it's sort of the exactly the horseshoe. The horseshoe yeah, That's yeah, yeah. how I feel about yeah. it. Exactly, where I'm just like, yeah, I would love to watch my my wife could fuck as many women as she wanted. It's crazy that it's and the it opposite. Progressive women. It's the opposite yeah. of like a woman reacting to a, her husband being gay, which is like her worst fear. It's like broke right. up. <laughs> oh, like, wow, it's that's true. A great point. It, this is very like sort of uh, YouTube sketch circa 2007. Like sure. wife finding out, out her husband's gay. <laughs> yeah. Oh no! Like yeah, husband yeah, finding yeah. out his wife's gay. Yeah. Oh god! Yeah, 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 like, yeah George, yeah. that is from 2007, but it would still be a biting commentary. Yeah, today. Yeah. <laughs> no. Fuck, dude! Can we get Gawker back on? Yeah, yeah, publish yeah. that, dude. Yeah, That'll gotta, bring you guys back. That Gawker on. three. Pivot to video. Gawker yeah. <laughs> three is sketch video. Baby. Gawker, 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 Gawker three. Gawker. It's college men, humor. Men be like versus yeah, women yeah. be like sketch humor. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah, this is me. Me and our friend Kevin share share a similar outlook here. All right. Um. So good luck, buddy. We're rooting for you. We hope your wife is into you watching her eat pussy, and we hope you get to watch her eat pussy. And either what we're really hoping is that the relationship keep continues to thrive either way. Yeah. Um, thank you. Thanks for coming, fellas. Oh, thanks for thank having me. Thank you, Stav. So a fun. What a delight. So fun. Come back. Come back whenever. Um, and follow our friends here. Listen to the listen to the podcast. Go get tickets. Stavi.biz. We're all over the road. Uh, and you know, Eldis hasn't been saying it, but he's he started. He's gonna. He's dipping his toes in the social media game. Go follow our friend Eldis yeah, at Eldis it. Sula. He's got an embarrassing amount of followers right now. Yeah, let's get the boy up. You know, we we should we need a leaderboard of every producer of b- big podcasts. <laughs> and we, we need to get you over a certain amount of producers. Yeah, because I can't have my boy in the fucking triple. Digits yeah, I got to right do now. some competitive market research. We got we my yeah dude the pre, yeah you're gonna you're gonna get we're gonna catch them all. Uh, thanks, folks. We'll see you next week. Bye.